and his team, we're going to stand together and fight this disease. I've come this way before, traveled with only joy. Circumstances navigated the path, and life happened all so fast. No, we got no means, sometimes you see, I know, I know we couldn't make it. Even when I'm off beat, I still land on my feet, and nothing can shake me, cause I know my turn. This is where I am destined to be. I'm not ready to give up. Determined to be the greatest, yeah. Bobbing and weaving, they changing up like the seasons, indigenous to the ground. So I do it for all my people, jabbing the competition. Back up against the ropes, she fighting for recognition. I'm fighting just to promote equality where we lack it. While cancer's slow on our road, I'm confident we'll make it. We focus on common goals, yeah. Give back, give love, give things away. Never give up, give love, give things People, we gonna call him JQ. Love is the word. Ethan out there. What's up, Ethan? G Brown, KJ. Hey, Mr. Blue. What up, Jay Gibson? Andrew Charles, Jay Gibson, Phil, KJ. Wife, y'all name so nice. We gonna say love is the word twice. Hey, box fans, President Jay Gibson, Chris Lane, Mr. J Dub. What's up, M Square? I appreciate y'all, man. Hey, hey, hey. Terrence Bailey, what up, what up, what up, what up? Eagle City 56. Welcome to the show, man. Welcome to the show. All right, Russell, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you guys for coming in tonight, man. And you know, I got to start the show with a trailer, man. You know, I got to start it with a trailer. Come on, man. Good evening, messenger. You convinced us that you were the last messenger. How many other bastard children do you have? Welcome to the show, y'all, man. I put it at the top, man, so people can, uh, so people can, uh, if you wait too late, you know, but I'll, what's up, man? Anyways, y'all know the routine. 
What's up, man? Thank you guys for coming in, man. So Jamal, Charlo, and you guys still want to talk about uh, everything else was going on and in, in, uh Black America in terms of I get I got a lot of DMs on it, conversations about it. So I figure y'all still want to talk about this week. L was going to come in about 9.15. L was going to come in. A few of y'all been asking for him. So I was like, L, can you come in tonight? He's like, sure. So he's going to come on in and we're going to have a great conversation. So whenever you guys see both, like I said, whenever you see both, if you see the show on both channels, that means we got an interview. So I don't have to upload later. You know what I mean? Kill two birds with one, kill two birds with one stone. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, man, um, it is what it is, man. Jean, I'm not fixing it because I'm not re-uploading. It's done. It's done. People know what it means. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit. You know what I mean? I'm a flawed human. And uh, but people get it. So, anyways, man, um, Jamal Charlo, he was arrested, and um, you know, it's nothing. It, it's it's uh, it's nothing to make much of the arrest. Nothing's gonna happen to Jamal Charlo. This is gonna be water under the bridge next week. Not a big deal. The big deal is a couple things. Now he has a mug shot. You know, what I mean, I, I appreciate you looking out for me, John, though, for real. Uh, he has a mugshot now. And when you have a mugshot that is on the line forever, it's, it has priceless value on on the negative side of your life. You know, uh, so many media members are going to use that. You know, if you're fighting a, a guy in another country. So let's say he's from. Give me a country, y'all. Uh, Turkey. Let's say he's from Turkey. You know what the Turkish newspaper is going to post about you? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a criminal. <laughs> you young fellows that's never been arrested. You don't know where your life is going to take you. You know, obviously, this has happened to Jamal at 31, but do your best. You know, Oscar De La Hoya did a hell of a job at paying all these search engines to take his mug shot down, you know? And, um, I mean, you have no idea the value, the negative value of having a mug shot online. Um, it's not flattering, you know, uh, for one, you don't want your children to see it, but obviously you'll have that conversation later and it's not going to make much, but they, but historically, um, and then you got to take into account the networks. Oh, he's untrustworthy. We can't handle him. He's emotional. He's violent. He doesn't, he lacks discipline. He's just one of those hip hop Negroes. You know what they say in the back room, you know, he, he's uncontrollable. We, we pay him and he does this. Imagine if we didn't pay him. <laughs> Who do we have that's just below him that's next? Well, let's try him for a second, you know, and that quite possibly could happen. But I'm very interested in what you guys have to say about this situation. And two, I, I would say this. PBC has to develop a, some infrastructure because they have 200 fighters. And when you have 200 fighters, you got 200 personalities. When you got 200 fighters, you got 200 families. You understand? And, uh, it needs to be a some infrastructure, like the PR person. Who's the PR? Who's the, I know they got Kelly Swanson is not really a PR person. She's really an employee that manages the, the media area. Tim Smith, I think, is supposed to be that guy. You know, uh, Tim Smith is supposed to be that guy that uh, that manages the language that comes from the head of PBC. And um, I'm uncertain if he's doing his job because Jamal Charlo should not be the uh, the first person to respond. It should be PBC with a letterhead to all the media. You know what I mean? And and that way it buys it buys them time. You know it 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 silences probably about thirty percent of the media because they say, oh, he was just arrested because. Some of them may read the PBC letterhead first and say, oh, it was a misunderstanding. Jamal went to, 
you know, it was just a misunderstanding between the waitress and Jamal. He went to pay for the bill and, you know what I mean? La, yada, 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 yada. And if they read that first, it shapes their opinion about the incident. But when TMZ comes out first, you know what I mean? Now you're hustling backwards, you know? So, so I think like that's, uh, that's important that we, uh, that PBC understands that. I don't think they fully grasp that at all because they've never made an attempt to, uh, to fix it, you know, as it pertains to, uh, getting the media right. Um, you know, and what have you. So, um, so I think it's not Al Heyman's fault that Jamal committed the crime. I'm just saying, I think he needs to have infrastructure like the NBA. You know what I mean? So I think that, um, uh, like the NBA, the NFL, Major League Baseball, and so on. So what's up, Marky Dan? Charlo's catching L's. L after L lately. And 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 uh, lately ends in an L. <laughs> what's up? Hey, man. Man, uh, first thing, you got to understand that um, this thing with Charlo, mm -hmm. who was actually surprised? No, I'm not surprised at all. There's no surprise. This, this is a, uh, and and, and I, I'm not talking down on the brother. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna. Uh, 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 this is something that we need to stop doing. We we need to stop talking down on on the brothers and just uh, talk about solutions and and treat the symptoms of the other problem. Uh, this brother. Uh, has has I think I said it before, where he has an issue where you you got to you got to walk on eggshells around these guys because they they they, they ultra sensitive. Mm -hmm. So, what's the solution to that? How do we treat that? What do you do about that? I don't know. Uh, but you but you can't cater to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you don't cater to a sensitive individual. You, you, you make a man up. You say it, it is what it is. Deal with it. We all, it, the rest of us do. Mm -hmm. You want to have to, too. Right. Uh, I, I looked at the, uh, the report. His card got declined. So he took the girl's uh, pouch or whatever because it, it, it had her it had his uh, idea or something in it whatever, but it also had um, another customer's uh, uh, information or money in it and I and, and I guess her, 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 her tips or something in it or whatever and and then he, and then he made threats and, and, and uh, pushed his way out of, the, out of the spot you can't do that when you're a professional athlete you can't do it, period. <laughs> well, 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 no, you can't do you, you can't do it, period. But when you're in the uh uh um the public eye, you know what I'm saying? What where, where um what whatever you do is magnified to the point where um okay if you had done that, Fred. We would have we and, and you and you didn't have this podcast. Well, even with this podcast, if you had did that, we would have never heard about it, right? But, but because he did it, it's going to make national news, especially uh, 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 or especially regional news. You know what I mean? If I had done it, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it would it would it would have made some some noise. And he done it. That's ESPN. That's worldwide news. So that was dumb as hell. That's that's just plain dumb. I mean, you are a boxer. You're not Tupac. Your um, your your gate sales don't go up because you get arrested. It's not like you pop where you go to jail and your freaking uh, album sales go through the roof. You not pop. You know, you know, so. I don't understand how these cats be thinking. And um, 
there was another point and I want to I want to uh, kick on, but uh, it's, it's, it's escaping my mind right now. But if it, if it, if it comes back to me, man, I, I'll just I'll just be back in. I'm not gonna hold on. Appreciate it. All right, man. Peace. All the time, dog. You made good points. <laughs> You're Jamal Charlo, man. All these little petty little incidents and these petty emotional fits. Like honestly, I would say. I would say who throws temper tantrums like the Charlos. And I think the media needs to start calling them out on it instead of just taking it. You know what I mean? Adrian Broner is like that, but he's more playful. Like he, like when Adrian Broner does it to me, I don't care. You know, I, I even tell him, okay, you about to, you about to insult me or crack a joke on me. Go ahead. I'm waiting. So I can, ask, I want, I want you to get it out now so I can ask you, so I can interview you. You know, <laughs> you know, what I mean, uh, they, they're not going to court, man. It, it's not a big issue on the grand scheme of things. I think it's bigger that he got a mug shot floating across, a, floating across the world right now. I think that's the bigger issue. This is nothing. This is like a jaywalking ticket in the grand scheme of things of, of criminal activity. You know, what I mean, it's 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 nothing. But the bigger issue is Jamal Charlo. And without further ado, the guest is in the building. When you, Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Oh, you eating it. You ready? You can talk and eat. <laughs> Multi-talented. Oh, man. What's up, man? How you feeling? What up, friend? What's going on? Everybody? Oh, yeah, all right? Turn your phone the other way, man. What way? The long way. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now it's full, man. Uh, what you eating? Um. Some chicken, uh, rice, and salad. Okay, dope, dope, dope. So we were talking about uh, Jamal Charlo. Uh, um, getting arrested, right? Yeah, yeah, getting arrested. Jamal Charlo. I, I forgot his name that quick. Yeah, man, I think that's pretty uh, unfortunate, you know, uh, that he was even put in that situation that he allowed himself to get... Uh, caught up into something like that you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bash your brother because um i don't know the full details of the story and i know sometimes from being a celebrity you know a person of status with money sometimes people they feel like they can treat you however and you know they forget that that you're a human you get what i'm saying and sometimes mm -hmm. they violate your your rights your your, your essential rights so he probably just felt like fucker you know right. what i mean you mm -hmm. lost my car, you know what I mean? You pay for it. And she probably got an attitude with him. You know, they don't they don't mention all they don't mention the details of everything. They just want to probably publicize him as the bad guy. But still right. being in his position, you know, he ain't he ain't in no position to even be getting in no trouble like that, man. Cause it's it's definitely it'll devalue his name, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. But hopefully that, that go well for that brother. Yeah, even if it's not like a problem the the uh the painting of the problem like the, exactly, exactly. the mug shot the wow. mug shot is priceless for the negative media you get what i'm saying exactly they they can paint it however they want to paint it at this point man man you ain't never lied man and that mug shot goes a long way man i, I wish people really understood like oh man i'm gonna go to jail and get a mug shot yeah, you're you're a fighter, man. You <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. You mentioned that because I remember one time, you know, I had a lot of run-ins with the police growing up in Compton, and uh, you know, I, I I've been in police cars. You know, I, I've had physical altercations with the police. I fought two police when I was 18 years old, and uh, I remember one time, the police they was actually looking for somebody and then you know try to play the little uh card that oh yeah you look like somebody and i said look here man if you want to talk to me i'm not getting in your car you know i'm not getting arrested we about to talk right here i'm about to show you my id and i'm gonna let you and, and you're gonna see that i'm not the person you're looking for and i'm gonna walk and go my way so he constantly trying to you know get me to get in handcuffs and i'm like man i'm not getting in no handcuffs this is my name. This is who I am. Here go my ID. Here go. So after I showed him, he was like, oh, man, you look like Wooty Woo. I said, I know I already told you I'm not him. So he asked, you know, one, one dude, at, I mean, 
uh, it was a, ne- a neighbor of mine. He was like, man, I'm glad you did that shit to them, man. I'm glad you stood up for yourself. And I, and he was, the officer was right there. I said, look here, man, I want to be treated the same way y'all treat people in Beverly Hills. Cause I see all the time. If I'm in a white neighborhood or if I'm not in the hood, if I'm outside the hood. I see y'all give pe- people a chance to talk, but y'all automatically, you know, defile us in the ghetto as if we criminals. And I said, look what the, the, the picture you painted in my neighborhood, because just, just think about this. Like my, I, I, and I've had this happen to me plenty of times. Like people in my neighborhood that know me, that like older people, you know, people in general that know I don't make trouble. I don't get in no trouble. I'm not a troublesome cat. I, I don't get in trouble with the law. They'd they be like, man, what you do this time? Or what happened? What you do? And I, because that's the picture of pain. Anytime a person sees somebody in the police car, they automatically think they did something wrong. Like it's never the police fault. But that's the indoctrination that we've been trained to believe. So once they got you on that mug shot, they can paint whatever picture they want. You get what I'm saying? So that that's what I was trying to get through to the officer. I said, I don't let y'all treat me no kind of way because I gotta uphold an image in my in my neighborhood. I gotta uphold an, an image in my community because people know me as such. You get what I'm saying? I'm not about to let y'all paint a picture so these people can think different of me. Either, even though I don't give a damn, but I know how public perception is and image mean everything in this world. So, you know, alluding and, and, and giving credit to your point, man, they can paint the picture how they want to paint it. So, yeah, yeah. you know, hopefully he, he, he get that, get that. Uh, no, I was just going to say Jamal Charlo arrested uh, with a mugshot. No one ain't going to read the article. Right. <laughs> like people don't understand, man. Yeah. Like it's, it, it's, it's a powerful, you got so many independent media outlets. But imagine if uh uh if ESPN did it, you know, now it's like poof, you know, yeah, but they really he, make it ugly. he ain't gonna make ES. Maybe he'll make the, the the internet, but he won't make ESPN like the TV show, you know. So so yeah, but uh if he did, though, it wouldn't yeah, be if, yeah, yeah, if he did. Uh what else is up? What else is up? Man, you know, just life. Uh-huh. You know, surviving amidst the chaos, you know what I mean? It's amidst the chaos. I went up the phone lines. Oh, they're they gonna be calling in too. Yeah, yeah. You don't mind, do you? No, no, I don't nah, it's I open discussion, don't. man. You know, yeah, that's a and, shot, baby. Everyone's yeah, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I figured, man. That's definitely what I figured. Xavier Porter. Shoot the five, man. Shoot the five. What's up? Yo, what up, though? What's, What's up? up man? What's up, man? How you feeling, man? Chilling, chilling. I need to get up in there. Uh, you, you here? You here? What you got? Oh, turn me down. Turn me down in the background. Turn me down in the background, dog. You said turn you down? Yeah, you got the computer on. Yeah, what's good? What's good? Mm-hmm. You hear me? Yeah. You just got to turn the computer down. Okay. Because I can hear it. Yeah, I'm trying to get up in there. Where you at? Look here. Shoot the five, man. Shoot the five. What's up? What up, killer? How you looking out there, brother? I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, bro. Yo, I just copped the um, I just copped the movie. I know, nigga. Will you turn me down in the background? Mute it, nigga. Mute it. Mute your computer. <laughs> okay, my bad. I cut that. Cut, cut the mute off. That's What's, better. Yeah, man. What's up, man? Uh, I'm chilling. I'm chilling, man. Oh man! Oh Jamal, I mean, oh go ahead. Uh, what you got? What's yeah. up, Blue Blood? I got you. In a no, I'm just calling. I'm just calling the time, man. You know, trying to you know check and see what's going on with you and everything. Uh, like I said, I just purchased. I just got the movie the other Thank day. Thank you, man. You know? How'd you like? Did you watch you know? it yet? Oh no, no. I'm, I'm gonna probably watch it tonight because I'm at work right now. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, everything good? You know what what you mean? got cooking on your channel? Huh? Everything's good on the channel, you okay. know. We drop us a couple of joints, but nothing major. Okay. Nothing major like tonight. Uh, <laughs> hey, 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 speaking of tonight, hey, what'd you think of Jamal Charlo? Um, I'm 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 a little saddened by it, honestly speaking. You know what I mean? I'm a little saddened by the, the way he was depicted, the way he was put out there. I mean, whatever the situation is, um, you know, I, I mean what kind of what I, I want to know what kind of restaurant they tallied up that much bread, like, <laughs> like right. you have to go in shorty, you have to go in shorty pockets and 
and, and why was his card decline? Like we talk about Jamal Charlo, like multi million multi million dollar athlete. So how why was your card decline three times? He's probably you know what I'm he's, he's probably on the Al Heyman stipend plan. And if that, you know, whoever you win, everybody's supposed to come through and put some bread together instead of you having to go step to the manager and whoever else and, and the waitress and, and go have to go get your ID and everything back from mine. And then next thing you know, now, now you got a little mug shot and it's not a great look. Like I heard what you just said about the fact that, um, you know, when you put a mug shot out there, the, 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 the truth is you put a mug shot out there. That's all you see is the mug shot. Like you said, nobody yeah. reads those stories. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? But, and I don't want to say the Ed word, but you know, they ain't reading no stories. They just see the picture. <laughs> like, oh, he got locked up. Yeah. Oh, he just like what it is. He just one of those. Yeah. One of them yeah. guys. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's that's sad. It's sad. But at the end, but also, I, I, it got to be more to the situation. You know what I mean? Because as as we both know the Charlos, we've seen the Charlos come up in Boston and everything. Mel is more the hothead than Ball, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I love them both. You know what I mean? I love them both. I love I love the way they carry themselves. I love the fact that. You know, they, they're against the world. I love that attitude. It reminds me of the twins that was in the 300 movie. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, but at the end of the day, like, they got to be more to this for the fact of they saying he 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 went all out and lay hands and had to, he had to get his money back or get his ID back or whatever else. And the girl got injured and this, that, and third. Like, come on. And, and, and then the, 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 the most famous, you know, Google, I don't want to say Google site, the most famous paparazzi site in the world is TMZ. And they always putting us out there. Right. Right. Always. Right. Always putting us out there. Like it's like as soon as one of us do something, and I mean African American people, as soon as one of us do something, bong bong, we out there. ASAP no Rocky. Yeah. Real talk. We are out there on the front line. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when situations happen with Caucasians with TMZ, they go hard for them as well, but they take their time with them. And I can tell you this because I know certain individuals that work with TMZ and they tell me how stories are presented to them and how they push stories out behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? And, and But when it comes to blacks, kill them, it's oh, out sure. there. Sure. It's out yeah. there off, off the off the rip. It's out there off the rip. And, and so now you got you got Jamal Charlo out here, probably going to lose some bread, maybe for some sponsorships. We don't know. I, it'd be sad if he did. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure this, this little situation that they take care of I'm pretty sure the bill will get paid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Definitely. I'm hoping she don't sue for no injuries from what she says. She got a slight leg injury that might keep her out of work for a little bit. I mean, this is the story I'm reading on TMZ, and this is just as fresh out, so we don't know everything that took place that night. They say it's video. I haven't seen a video yet of the situation, the confrontation and all that. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, he going to rise above this. Yeah, He's the WBC middleweight champion in the world. There's more money to make out there. There's more fights to be, to be made. This is just a little blip in the road for him. Right. This ain't even an obstacle. It's like it's like a pebble in the shoe. Yeah, that, exactly. take the shoe off. Yeah, just take the shoe off, knock it out, and keep pushing. Yeah, that's what I believe as well. I don't think it's a big deal. I, yeah. I, I just think the perception of the crime is a big deal. Yeah. It, it seems like it seems like some things have been added to the story since I read it. Since I, yeah. like, trying to get yeah. back. Exactly. Oh yeah, she said a yeah. leg hurt it all. <laughs> yeah. But that's gonna happen it's, anyway, though. That's gonna happen of, anyway. Yeah, it, you know, it's a lot of BS with, with this story and everything. Uh-huh. And it's, it's, just, it's gonna it's gonna get pushed. It's gonna get pushed. And by the time his next fight get announced or next opponent get announced, ain't nobody gonna be paying attention to this no, story right that... here. We we gonna be focused on who he get ready to fight. Right. More than likely, this might we might get a a fight closer with him than Trooper G or Booboo after this. He might have to fight Booboo now. <laughs> <laughs> He's been fighting. You know what I mean? <laughs> he might have to fight Demetrius Andre now yeah. after this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's been fighting taxi drivers and waitresses at 160. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if he fight Booboo after this, they probably definitely will be talking about it. Yeah. But if he fight Trooper G, they'll just be talking about Trooper G. That's the difference. <laughs> right, 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 right. Word. Shout out to you, yes, sir. Everything, everything good? good? No, everything's solid. I appreciate you buying the film, man. Thank you for your support. Yeah, no doubt. You know, I always support you, man. Yeah. You always support me. I always support you. That's you always, love. You know, we rock out day one, man. Yeah, that's it love. Is what it is. No, that's love. I just wanted to call in and check in. That's you know love, what I mean? man. I'm going to call in more often. Thank you. Please, so, you up anyway? Oh, yeah, facts. facts. Yeah, you got to come facts. be a guest, too. You got to come be a guest on the show, man. Come hang out. Rock out with me, man. Yeah, no doubt. Let me know. I'm there. Next month, September. All next right, month. cool. We build a cool, next cool. month schedule right now, for sure. All right, cool. All right, thank you. Thanks, man. All right, peace. peace. All, All right, brother.
All yeah. right, peace. Peace. Yeah. I mean, even if his car, listen, I, I'm, I'm here's who I am at, at the end of the day. Like, even if I go out with friends, I, well, uh, anyways, I'll, I'll let Miss T talk. Miss T is in the building. Hey, Miss T, what's up? What's up, Fred? How you, How you doing, guys? How you doing, Miss T? Okay. So, yeah. Fred, we talked about this over a month ago, right? Mm -hmm. You gave some good advice. You said PBC need to have a real, you know, on the job, one of folks that, or a whole team of publicists. They probably need to hold classes for their fighters, the do's and the don'ts. You, uh, we also talked about the Tarlos getting publicists. Yeah, we did. So we what did. I think, we did. Uh -huh. we, what I, but they won't listen to Fred. They won't listen to you. That was good advice. Mm -hmm. And what, what I was thinking is we'll probably agitate, like your guest said, we don't know all the details. I think when she came back and said that uh, the card was declined three times, you know, sometimes they could say, cut that card up. You know what I'm saying? And he'd probably be like, the fuck you mean you cut my card up? Because when he so-called grabbed the uh, the bill foes that she had, he he was going for his ID. Yeah. And they said he took the cash Facts. out of the other Facts. people's switch card. Facts. But he put himself in the predicament. Since when do they not carry loads of cash around? And one somebody said, why didn't they have in their crew? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what room? I said. Yeah. yeah right. Why didn't... Listen, I'm going to tell you one thing. If I'm out with somebody and I know he's paying and car it comes up short you know yeah. it's not a twenty thousand dollar bill you know i'm be like man yeah here's the five hundred dollars i'll pay it we'll talk about it tomorrow i think his yeah. friend should have stepped in as where you're going should have stepped in and be like listen Jam jamal listen you're a world champion right i would have whispered in his ear if you do something in this restaurant with these 60 other people watching and these cameras hot it's not a good idea not Let's just get out of here. I'll take care of the bill. I'll even tip the waitress a hundred dollars. You get what I'm saying? We just got to get out of here. Yeah. Let's, right. not, it, 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 let's just abort the mission. We don't need to eat. We'll stop at Whataburger on the way home and we'll laugh about it in, in a week. You know, let's just get out of here. And, and and that's what I think should have happened. You know, but 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 my question is, how come his friends don't have no money? Like they take or, or the or the or the wherewithal to be like Jamal, no. Nah. Like you can't be afraid of your friends. I don't give a fuck if he is the WBC champion of the world. You can't be afraid to be like, oh, this and that. Mm -hmm. like, it's not a big they deal. They're making it. The, I think the restaurant is making it a bigger deal mm -hmm. than but it they, really but is. He, but he put himself in the predicament. That's the point that we're making. Yep. He put it, yeah. And they take us. I said that about Jamel mm -hmm. Entourage. And Jamal's apparently right. Like we laugh at Floyd, but what Floyd had like all flanks covered. He had them big old dudes. You gotta get you gonna say them floor, you gotta go through one of them. We laugh at his entourage, but Floyd entourage never changed. They've been with him from day one. And they're not just takers. They hand Floyd can turn to anybody in his entourage, go handle that. Hey, bring me my bag. Hey, do this. And and none of them, you know, pick up. You know, like when you see somebody doing something decent or that makes sense, why don't you copy it? Mm -hmm. Right. That don't make sense. He, this was all blown out of proportion. That girl gonna get her bag. The manager might even find a way to sue him. You disrupted my business. Exactly. I lost customers. Right. It's, it's stupid. Right. It's stupid. But the mindset of his friends, like. I'm not letting my, I, I mean, I, I I believe I will in that moment. Like, hey, listen, man, let's just get out of here, dog. This ain't, not, this is corny, dog. Let's just get out of here. It's a white restaurant anyway. You know what I mean? We should have been at this soul food restaurant <laughs> miles down the road, man. Let's just get out of right. here, dog. Let's get out of here. Yeah. And, and, and that goes to show you got to stop patronizing these people, man. They want you to fail. Yeah. I mean, they want you. They, they man, all they want is your money, man. You ain't getting no return on that thousand dollars you just spent. You know, you ain't getting and, a return. And Fred, and, and you said the best, they tried to hide it. You yeah. was giving this advice, this advice around that time. Yeah. We ain't know nothing about it uh -huh. until he got arrested because arrest is public record. Yeah. <laughs> he won't hide net. So they tried to hide it. Uh -huh. And that month time that they kept it a secret, why not go hand, get somebody to, to put their, their narrative out instead of letting TMZ? 
so many things went wrong. That's Y'all got for it. money. Yeah. Fuck your cars. Fuck your big ass house. Buy a publicist. Get some act right. Do something. I, 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 I told them years ago. I told them years ago to their face. Y'all need a PR person because, I mean, I didn't tell them they're not the best communicators, but, you know, I like, y- y'all should get a PR person. Like, but it's, uh, I mean, it's it's just, man. Sheesh. And Robert Easter two weeks ago. Easter, thousand there. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> the whole squad been in trouble with the laws. Maul, Mel, Tank, AB, Earl, Bunny, Shoot, even Floyd, mm-hmm. Mel. Already said they about to, they about that. <laughs> Mel ain't, ain't about that life, man. He said he got shooters, man. He ain't so that means he ain't about it. That means he put money on book. But the point I'm making, the bigger picture is another point is Miss T and L, the infrastructure of PBC. Like PBC mm-hmm. should have jumped in front of the story. Yeah, PBC mm-hmm. should have fed the news to ESPN, definitely, uh, boxing writer. And got in front of the story, mm-hmm. you know, especially when they knew the restaurant was coming. Oh, you know they come, mm-hmm. dog. Listen, this ain't this is not a new story, dog. I mean, for real, where I come from, man. How I many, man? This happens. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. In these restaurants, you get mad at a waitress. You you don't pay. You walk out. It happens every day. You know, if I sh- right, you get what I'm saying. I ain't paying. You know, forget you. And the manager just comes out and he stops and looks. Like, I ain't fucking with him. That's you know, but they said, that. yeah, but they said, listen, that's Jamal Charlo. Yep. Tell him your leg hurt. She, she probably held his car. Hey, that's no. what I think. I don't know. I don't know for a fact. Even, but I think I think the lady held this card and was like, we got to hold the card. He probably gave her a black card, you know? Yeah, I mean. And she probably held that bitch. Fuck, what yeah. the fuck, girl? You better give me my card. It ain't no problem with his money now. Come on, Jamal. It ain't. Yeah. Whatever he's eating and his friends eat, it ain't no problem. You know what I mean? For real, for real. It's, uh, it's, it's not that serious. You understand what I'm saying? What I, what I, what I think, what I think happened is mm-hmm. that he, he, he gave an he gave a reaction that they played off of. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they like, all right, well, well, let's 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 see if he bite. Oh, he bit. Oh, we got him. Hook exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how we gonna play. Him. And he probably wasn't even thinking like that. He probably thinking, I'm I'm a Charlo. I'm the champion of the world. And he start, you know, thinking crazy. You get what I'm saying? Instead of thinking. His reputation, his, right. his, his, you know what I mean. But hopefully, mm-hmm. going forward, hopefully, learn from it because now that people know that, oh, you will really act that stupid, man. They have, man, they have every roadblock set up waiting for you. Right down the line. Right. She need to get that bag. That'll teach him a lesson. I mean, they already that got. They already got the taken movie. for that. That they jewelry. They should have. In New York, that was somebody robbing them, though. But that's what I'm saying. Like, but that's what I'm saying. You gotta, I mean, your squad is weak, dog. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got squad issues. You know what I mean? Like, he he got offended because she said, "Do you have an another form of payment?" I'm like Jamal. You probably got two, three hundred dollars in your cup holder in your car. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, really? Man, listen. We ain't. I mean, it's. Jamal responded like, no, like he got mad as his ego was bruised a little bit. What do you mean? I'm, you know how he re- assuming how yeah. he allegedly how he responded. <laughs> I'm rich, you know. what I mean, you see this, you see this watch, right. this thousand dollar bit. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's how you know young rich people respond. You know, and mm-hmm. it's not an issue. the The restaurant, the restaurant took advantage of this opportunity, exactly. man. That he I believe that the restaurant took full advantage of this opportunity, and and that's what these athletes got to understand. They took it. She gonna fall. She gonna. She gonna get a lawyer. She gonna go to therapy. <laughs> she gonna end up She got a cast on right yeah, now. Yeah, facts. Man, sure. Playing the game. A leg hurt, man. Fake, come on. Fake MRIs, fake uh, mm. X-rays, all of, the whole nine. Man, <laughs> man. It ain't no different than a, than a car insurance claim when somebody get somebody hit your car and you, and you go in the car and say, when nobody's present in the car, and I'm gonna sit in the car and call the police. Oh my neck. Uh huh. 
right, right. It's the the staged event. Uh huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But he but he gave it to him. So exactly. I, I he always, made it right in the head. Facts. He Facts. gave it to him. He gave it to him. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. That's, and that's not, my call, Fred. Thank you, Miss T. Take nice care. <laughs> yeah, they doc, and that's and, and that's an issue that um, they're not cognizant of. You know, what I mean that right. that people are going to attempt to take advantage of them. Right, that, that's that's real life life skills. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got to you got to be aware of that situation. I don't care how good you is in the ring, you got to have life skills. You know, Champ side mentioned something like that. Man, he said. Uh, he said, uh, they was, he was saying that people be like, man, why you, why you, uh, why, where you been at, champ? Why you ain't talking about this? Why you ain't talking about that? He like, man, or no, somebody was mentioning about his, uh, his, uh, his boxing knowledge. Like, man, you don't know much about boxing. He said, man, I got life skills, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, I got life skills. Ah, uh, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> And yeah, that, that was classic, man. That was classic. I said, man, you gotta have life skills. Man. All right, press one. Three one three. What's up? Hey, how you doing, Fred? Hey, what's uh, up? Hey, man. I, first of all, like I said, you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. And man, um, and your film, I'm going to order it. But I, but I got Direct TV. And what is the best way to, to get it? Oh, you only could get it on my website. So you, so you just click the link on my Instagram or click the link in the uh, comment section right now. Okay. Did, did, do, do it download to my computer? Yeah, it'll download. Okay. Straight, yeah, it's a PDF download. It goes straight to your computer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I got to use a fun computer. Yeah. But you're doing a wonderful job, man. You, and I'm surprised I got through. I'm kind of shy. Oh, no, man. Who this, by the way? Yo, this is I'm a first time caller. Who this? Tell me your name. Who this? Oh, uh, Reginald from uh, Big Year, Arizona. Reginald, man. Welcome to the Welcome show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Welcome to how the show. How you guys doing? Good, brother. Good. Thank you. Yes. Um, first of all, well, once again, um, you're doing a great job for continuing to grind. Thank you, brother. And how you doing, good fellow? You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good, brother. Thank you. Appreciate yes, it. Um, getting back to the to the topic of the day, that's where you need real friends around you. Jamal, I'm not sure how many people he had with him, but a real friend should step up, like you said, and said, hey, everybody chip in, whatever, or we'll put your ATM cards together, and like, look, he gonna hook us up tomorrow. And But he got, seem like he got a, a bunch of moochers. They just ran out the um, restaurant and got in the car and left. I mean, somebody should have came back the next day. Well, Jamal should have came back the next day. And, you know, and cover everything up. And, um, you know, that's my two cents. And um, once again, so I keep up the good work. No, that's love. No, I absolutely will. Thank you. Thank you, man. Don't be a stranger, dog. Tucson, uh, Arizona, uh, coming uh, home. <laughs> Pre appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Hey, what's your favorite comedy? Mine? Stand up. Yeah, or stand up. Yeah, what's your favorite? Oh, man. Dave Chappelle, man. Dave Chappelle. Dave. Man. I like hey. I like I like Adam Sandler too, man, but Dave Chappelle by far is number one far and wide, man. Do, do you have a favorite one like stand up? Do you remember? Oh man, um I'm not quite sure, man. <laughs> he got he got so many, man. Uh -huh. yeah, facts. Pell got so many, and uh, and uh, I would probably say uh, Cat Williams is, is, is number is number two. Yeah, yeah. But you know, actual in movies, man, I, I like Adam Sandler, man. Adam Sandler, real. Uh, he, he, you know, he not the same kind of comical as Dave Chappelle because Dave Chappelle more relatable. He black, you know, what I mean? yeah. from the hood, you know. But uh, you know, uh, Adam Sandler got a good mix of. Uh, of comedy and acting, you know. So, mm -hmm. and I, I just I like Adam Sandler a lot, but but Dave Chappelle, that's my guy, though, man. He he talented, yeah, all yeah. around the board, man. Yeah, Dave. I mean, uh, Cat Williams had a great run. Oh know? yeah, yeah when he was yeah. going straight to DVD and all that. He had a hell of a run. <laughs> you know, <laughs> present y'all for the waitress gonna be like my neck, my back, my neck, and my back. 
facts facts and we talk about this man uh oh what's up jordan this is oh you can't see his name anyways yeah man yeah we actually talk about this quite often and, and i want everybody to go watch the last video i uploaded because i got a story about when i got arrested at 19. when i got arrested at 19 i got arrested for grand theft and i uh i went to a walmart or a kmart or oh uh, let me tell the story real quick let me tell the story call back in in a second uh I got arrested for grand theft. I remember sitting in that back room, you know, loss preventions caught me and all that. I was just getting some supplies, some living supplies for college, right? Because I didn't have any money. And it was a Sunday. It was a Sunday and I ended up going to court on Tuesday. But when I went to court, the judge looked at the case, looked at me, says, man, get out of my courtroom. This is petty theft. <laughs> but the point I'm making is I put the fate of my... I, I lost. I had no bearing on what he would have did to me. Oh yeah, you don't. You get what I'm saying? Imagine if you would have been grand theft, and I would do six months in prison. Yeah. Get kicked out of college. Get this. So, so you get what I'm saying? So your I think whole, that, your whole projection of life would have just been different. Exactly. Because that would have led you to another decision. That would have led you to other hardships. That would have put your mind in a different state. Exactly. Like you don't know where you would have been at. And exactly man th 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 them be turning points in some people life exactly and if you're not strong enough here mm -hmm. man it's gonna swallow you bro yeah and and, and that's the, the point i want to make with me bringing up this story is don't give up your power don't give someone else an opportunity to control your fate yeah definitely you, you know and and i i think this jamal charles story is water under the bridge it's not going to be an issue moving forward, but he's he may have damaged his image some with that with the the mugshot. I think that mugshot shit is just going to be, you, you know, what I mean. So at, so at the end of the day, um, it is what it is, man. Let me open the phone lines again. So the other topic was oh well, well someone's going to call in right now, but uh. Wilder Fury. Oh, that's crazy because before I was watching something, somebody posted something uh -huh. of uh, Wilder and Fury. I think it was probably from the first or the second fight, but it was showing some off-camera mm -hmm. footage. You know, nothing's really off-camera. It's always being recorded. Yeah, but facts. Yeah. I, I I guess this didn't make like the it didn't make the headlines or the or for the build-up for the fight, but uh. You know, Fury and uh, Wilder was going at it, man. You know, Wilder was saying, "Man, I'm a king. I got a, I got heart." You know, and Fury was like, "Man, I take your heart and eat it." You know what I mean? Like, they was talking crap. So I was like, "But somebody, I don't know if it was the the lead up for fight number three, but somebody said it was old footage in the comments, but it did have a Tyson Fury, I mean, a Fury uh, Wilder three. So I don't know what it was, but it just put me back in that mindset of in that." And that anticipation for fight three, because man, I, I want that chapter to be closed, man, because it's so much, it's so many unanswered questions. You know, the theme of that fight is confusion and a lot of bullshit. You know, um, so the fans need redemption. Uh, Wilder need redemption, and if Fury really that man, he need to. He need he need that he need he need redemption on Clay cl closing his case, mm -hmm. if he so if he feel like he innocent so, all around the, all around the uh, board man I just I'm just in high, I'm highly I have high anticipation for that fight man because I want to see Wilder do his thing man because I believe, uh, with all the controversy that surrounded that fight I believe it was some fishy that went on. Uh, it's so it's so many different things we, we can we can point at that's been you know discussed and dissected over the last what uh year or so since but uh man I, i'm highly I, I was highly disappointed that we weren't able to go out there last month man i man I, man I, I was and i was waiting for that fight man i said man, i want to see fury, fury get knocked out man because you know, I want to see. I want to see all the improvements that uh, Wilder made. I want to see it up close and personal. You know what I mean? In the ring, with a live body in front of him. Yeah, 
I'm definitely exhausted. I'm actually just like um, Alicia just put, what's up, Alicia? She's working out today. Uh, I, I'm actually tired of this, not tired of the fight. I'm just exhausted of the storylines. You get what right. I'm saying? Like, exactly. like how many more storylines do we need for this fight? We don't right. need no more. Yeah. You're going to do 800,000 pay-per-view buys, a million pay-per-view buys. Everyone's going to be watching. It's a heavyweight championship fight. Fury, just get your ass in the ring, man. That's you know what I mean? Like, on, man. like close he's, chapter. yeah, just close it, man. Can we just be done with it? Wilder's ready. I, I, I think if they change the date to September third, Wilder will be ready. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, Wilder, Wilder, Wilder. I think more than anything. See, when you when you went through the fire, mm -hmm. go ahead, you take that call, Freddie boy. Uh, what's up, two o two? What's up, man? You changing diapers? What's up? <laughs> What's up? What's up, Fred? <laughs> How you feel, man? It's on. It's on, people. What? what? The WBA has officially oh, yeah. got rid of the belts. We did it. <laughs> Mr. Gilberto Mendoza. <laughs> yeah, we I did. told you. I told you, Mr. Mendoza. I told you. We was on you. We was on your case. Your ass was grass. I told you, man. We was on you like white on rice, peanut butter and jelly. It's over. The Ponzi scheme is up. You already know what would have came. That R-I-C-O. It was coming for you. And you saw it. The walls was closing in. At night, you couldn't sleep. Hmm. You couldn't dream. You saw those letters. You saw the phone calls. You saw the emails. You saw the comments. Enough is enough. I'm tired of these motherfucking sexy bodies taking away from these motherfucking fighters who are not ever throwing a punch in their fucking life. Oh, it's oh, the WBA, and now the WBC is next, and the WBO will be next. And the IBF, they cool with me. They cool with me. <laughs> they cool with me, man. No, their only problem is they their rankings. They need to do something about that. They they be getting fighters we never heard of before becoming mandatory. But yeah, Fred, Chris Colbert, Chris Colbert. I think he would be mandatory to Tank Davis if I'm not mistaken. Or Leo Santa Cruz, one of them two. Who else? Tank Davis. He would be mandatory. I think to either Teal Fimo or someone else. And okay. Roly Romero, the Ducker. The, 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 the boxing troll. The ultimate boxing troll. You're going to get what you asked for. You, you want it, you're going to get it. You're officially the mandatory for Tank Davis. Officially. You said you want it. Well, I can't wait to see the highlight reel, Roly. We got to get on him, Fred. We got to roast him. We got to put his feet to the fire, his whole body to the fire and roast him like a pig with an apple in his mouth. We got to do it, Fred. Roley has been talking shit about Devin Haney for so long. So long. Bill Haney, shout out to Bill Haney. He did his job. He said he called up Floyd and, and the people in the suits to say, hey, let's make that fight. I got we got the money. And, you know, it's a good fight. We we got two people who gonna talk their shit. We got history. Let's make it. It's gonna do views. Floyd said, All right, Roley, you want the fight? You're gonna make career high pay. Title shot. Roley said, fuck that. I want tank. I want to get knocked out <laughs> without, a belt, without winning an official belt. <laughs> he said, I want to he get said, knocked me. out. That's funny. So, you know what, Roly? I can't wait, man. I'm going to be honest, Fred. As a business person, they would be smart to not allow Tank and Roly to fight. They would be smart to keep them away from each other and milk the boxing fans for all they want to see Roly get to lose and make money because he's a great heel. He's a great villain. We all can't wait for Rose to get knocked out. He is a great villain. We all can't. We all can't wait. And it's going to happen once he actually steps up. Either he's going to get knocked out or he's going to get his ass beat. But and I think Devin's going to beat his ass for 12 rounds. It's going to be a beat down. But the, other, the, other um, side of that, the flip side of that, he might he might stand up to the challenge and he might shock the world. I, we don't know. You think he, wait a minute, wait a minute, you think he could beat Devin Haney and shock the world or Tank? I, I'm just saying. I, yeah. I think I, I'm. I'm not saying that. I'm. I'm saying it's good promotion 
that he's built he's building himself as the as the villain and he's building his yeah. his reputation and 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 he's and he's he's getting fans behind the fight you get what i'm saying so yeah. his approach his approach is quite clever being a young a young cat that he is and and and, and, and relatively unknown as far as uh you know the the, Hardcore, the world scheme or, uh, of, of boxing, like he, he don't really have a fan base, but he building one. So I, I'm not, I don't knock his mm -hmm. approach, but I don't, I don't take nothing from somebody that got two hands and that's training every day. That's true. If if if, if, if he can shock the world and back up his talk, oh, he's gonna man. be an instantaneous <laughs> star. That's a big if. Hey, hey how about hey, if? He, it, go ahead. <laughs> If he knocks Tank out or Devin, oh my God, man, he will be yeah, he'll be the star of boxing. Let's be honest, he'll be a huge young dog. Oh, he's he gonna make sure he is. He's he gonna, gonna make sure he is. He's gonna make sure he is, and everybody I, I, gonna know. Oh man, that'll be because remember, remember they, they hate you and mm -hmm. then they love you and then they hate you again. Yeah, <laughs> and that will be I don't I mean I'm not saying he win, but I would love. I mean, that would be just classic, man. It would. Because oh, I like Roy. I like Roy. He's a heel. Like, like He's a heel. Too, like He's a heel. Too. Fuck it. Everybody got a part to play. Yeah, you know, exactly. I, I just like him. Mm -hmm. That man was fighting dirty as shit, and then was proud of or proud of it. That's fucked up. How you gonna fight dirty as shit, and then push the dude for the KO? I think he pushed. He pushed him. It was in a punch. He pushed him down on the end of the fight, and he was proud of it, showing his belt to the crowd. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that he got he got the point taken away and says, "Man, I gotta go get this point back." He, oh yeah, he, he, you know, his dog, you know yeah, he got, yeah, he got dog, he, he got, got dog, dog. He's entertaining man. Like, <laughs> I gotta get this point like, <laughs> like, 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 in the interview, he said, he said, "Man, I got a son, son to say." Me and Bill had a talk, and oh shit. <laughs> I'm Devin Haney, biological father. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know that, man. Yeah, shit, funny, you man. Thirty seconds to get to that point. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, I was dead serious. Like, all right, what are you going to say? You going to fight Tank or something? Uh -huh. oh, Devin, <laughs> I'm my father. I'm sorry, Devin got to show up and show up uh, in, to him in person and start doing Shannon Briggs, man. Hey, Devin, if you're listening. You gotta pull a Shannon Briggs on these niggas, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta pull a Shannon Briggs, the Let's Go champ. Hey, if Tank is on the uh whatever, whatever he's doing, you gotta be there. Mm -hmm. Whatever role he's in, you gotta be there. Eat uh whatever he's in, you gotta do that. Mm -hmm. uh, pull up the to. I don't care. You gotta do it. It's time, man. Mm -hmm. No more bullshit. Uh, Giving these guys career high paydays, a chance, the title, a shot, and they don't want to fight you. Yeah. What Ro the fuck is that's backwards? Roly crazy enough to really fight though. Like no, you know, what I mean? like yeah, yeah he's crazy enough to be like, huh? You 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 coming? You know, he don't know his PR, but he, he, he type he's women. Type. So women, for you. I gotta ask you. What but that's but that's but that's him though. But that's what makes him the greatest version of himself though. Right, is, right. Is that you know, if you pull up on if you pull up on Roly, he ready to scrap. Right. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is a he is a little crazy. I ain't gonna lie, he a little. And he uh, did MMA. Crazy. Oh yeah, he's like a judo. Yeah, martial arts. yeah, he's martial arts. He got background that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but like but but we never know though. He he might just be playing a role. Like he might he might be smarter than we giving him credit for. So right, like, I don't know. Like I can't. I don't never underestimate nobody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You he yeah. might pull up and understand that it's all part of PR and, and make it a, a a bigger spectacle than we are. You get right. surprises right. though. Good you know what I'm saying? Good point. Like, we don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I hope I hope I hope the young man get paid. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He got dog in him. I, I mm -hmm. just seen him. I don't I don't follow him much. In the ring, he got dog. In the he ring, got, I, I don't follow him much, but I've seen some highlights of him. I said, I like this kid, man. He go to fight. He yeah. go to fight. He's entertaining, man. He's he's yeah. entertaining to me, man. He is, man. Yeah, I am. yeah. Do you, I got a question? Do you think it's Al Heyman telling Rolly not to take that fight so they can nah. make the fight with Tank Tank or something? I don't see them making nah, that tank fight. I just tank, think tank he's don't a, even want to fight. I think don't even want to fight Roley. I just think he's doing mm. PR. He's he's just having fun. Roley's having oh, fun, wow. man. 
he's a, a title a, shot in the career payday. God damn it, man. Yeah, he's and he fun. and he make him and he look, everybody got a chance to win a fight, anybody, but damn. Damn, yeah. man. That's a good fight, man. I think Devin would have showed up and showed out, man. It would have been a twelve round ass kicking. Yeah. I don't think he knocks Roly out though. I think Roly's uh, tough. Devin I, is, Devin I think he's tough. Devin I'll class him. L and I yeah, went I to the he... fight together. We went to the uh oh. Devin Haney fight together. Yeah, that Leonard. Leonard. yeah, that boy man Haney was oh, so man. Man. His, boxing, then, his boxing skills is second to none right now, man, in that division. Like, you know, I I I I I, I believe yeah. Tank is probably the probably the king of 135, you know, because I personally like that baby Tyson style that he brings, just that knockout, you get what I'm saying? But the most mm -hmm. skilled fighter of 135 is uh Devin Haney, I'm talking about the boy can do Absolutely. it all when it comes to boxing. Mm -hmm. Name, general no shit, question about it. All that. Yeah, they, absolutely. I agree with you. Devin Haney, man, he knows how to exit defense safely. He knows how to operate when coming forward if he has to. Use the jet to the body, to uh, upstairs, combination mm -hmm. from the inside. He could do it all, man. If he had power, like some big punch punching power, it wouldn't be fair, man. He would get ducked even worse. He oh, yeah. like the number well, that's Jerron in it. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> Jerron, yep. That's, that's. And I, yeah, and I, and I, I think, think, and I think yeah. it's just a simple, I think it's just a simple tweak in some, some of his training regimes to get his power up. Mm. I, just my personal. He needs Blu ray. Huh? He needs Blu ray. Uh, I don't necessarily, me personally, I don't necessarily think it's always. You know the 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 strength and conditioning training. This is boxing stuff. Like to punch hard, you gotta train to punch hard. You, you get what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. strength and conditioning is one thing. That's good. For for to me, that's more so muscle endurance. But in order to punch hard, you have to train to punch hard, and you train to punch hard by punching hard continuously. And it, mm -hmm. it's it's simple. It's a simple heavy bag workout, but a certain type of heavy bag workout that that will help that, in my opinion. Because when mm -hmm. I was fighting, it helped me tremendously. I'm talking about my power went from from level twenty to one hundred and twenty in a matter of a year. But it it's, mm -hmm. it, 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 it just simple basic. It's te technique. Is, technique got a lot to do with it as well, but a lot of times, like I I've seen lately, like them old school fighters, like too, it's too much hand, it's too much hand mix now. Like everybody want to be in the mix. No, nah, get on that heavy bag, man. Get on that heavy bag. Get on that heavy bag. That's where you're gonna develop your power, man. Your your muscle, man. The 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 points where your where your muscle is in your shoulders. In, in, in your back, man, in your biceps, all these, you know, these anchors for power, they're going to be built up in a, in, in a spectacular way, man. And a lot of times, fighters want the condition a lot. You get what I'm saying? Which is a good thing. I'm not taking nothing from it, but them old school guys, everybody was punching hard. I don't care if they was 118 pounds, 108 pounds. They all had narcotic knockout power. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Hey, before I get off, uh-oh, because I know other people are going to call. Uh, hey, real quick, Mikey Garcia, you got to get this roast too, man. You duck Regis Progre. You duck Regis Progre, man. We was all looking forward to the fight. We ain't hear nothing about no tune-up when you was fighting Jesse Vargas. We ain't hear nothing about no tune-up when you wanted to fight Earl Spence. You duck Regis Progre, man. That was a fight everybody was looking forward to. Y'all two was talking to each other. That That's a good fight. You could It's a winnable fight for you just as much as Regis. We very disappointed, man. Yeah, Re Re Pro Gray, Pro Gray, Pro Gray, that, that is a great fight, but Pro Gray is a threat with little with little opportunity for for a, a high payday he, for him. That's what I think. Oh man, yeah, that's true. But like, how did Mikey get his get his position? Somebody gave him a chance. Somebody gave him an opportunity. Somebody gave him a chance to become a world champion. Not just once, but twice, three times. I think what he's a four time champion, five or something like that. I mean, that, that's ridiculous. That's how the sport stays alive. I mean, I'm sure you know it. 
So you know what it is, though, Fred. Let's give give guys opportunities. I mean, he could win that fight too, though. I mean, Regis definitely is a threat. All right, yeah, there's no doubt about it. He could do a lot in that ring, but it's just the same to see that shit. But I'm about to be out. Hey, shout out to Deontay Wilder. Hey, we behind you, man. Get the Gypsy Fiend out of there. I don't want to see a knockout. I want to see a beatdown. 12 rounds, a beatdown, a brutal beatdown. Like some of the worst beatdowns in history. I want to see that. <laughs> and, uh, also, Earl Spence, we behind you, man. Whether you retire or not, or you still fight, we're going to be behind you all the way. We don't give a shit. And Shakur Stevenson, hey, box, box uh, Jamel Herring's shoes off, man. Box him like an Amazon package. Take him to school. The yellow bus. We talking. The graduation cap. Oh, yeah, get on together. Pencils, the whole lab. Take him to school and work his body. And of course, got to shout out Devin Haney, man. Hey, it sucks that nobody want to fight you, but you got an avenue to get some fights. Take take that WBC belt, take it up to 140, and be the mandatory for uh, Josh Taylor and get that fight. That's a legacy fight right there. And I'm out, Fred. And peace, peace to, uh, to you two gentlemen. I'm out. Take care, brother. Thank you. I like that uh, Devin Haney versus Mikey Garcia fight. Haney versus Mikey Garcia mm-hmm. at 140. Yeah, that's, that's a new weight class for Devin, but I like it. Yeah, that'll be that'll be that'll be good for him. I I, I wouldn't say right away, but he's a champion. We, you don't you don't you don't you don't, you don't breastfeed a champion. No, but I, 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 Mikey tough man. Mikey tough. So you would favor Mikey? Mikey would be the favorite in that fight for sure. I, 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 I still I, think Devin can beat him though. No, I believe so too. You get what I'm saying? I definitely believe he definitely a better, better boxer, but Mikey, Mikey tough, man. Mikey yeah, tough. Yeah, he's a good fighter. I, yeah, I like his style. But no one's ever What's stood good, up to Mikey. Great. What's up, man? How you feel? I'm feeling good. Feeling good, man. So gotta I'm coming to the barbershop. Got a question that's off topic. Um recently we uh found out who was the guy that uh killed Tupac. And now we're hearing about the guy that killed Biggie Smalls. So to me, it seems like streets eventually do talk in California. My question is, did OJ do it? <laughs> did OJ do it? I don't think <laughs> what the streets say. <laughs> I don't think he did it, but uh, I think he knows who did it. That would be yeah, my answer. He did. I don't think he did it personally, no. So the streets ain't talked on that one yet, huh? <laughs> Not yet, I guess, yeah. OJ might have did if the streets ain't talking. <laughs> <laughs> that was my question, man. I just called him uh, up. Best with y'all dudes, man. Y'all have a good evening. I right, appreciate man. you, man. Appreciate Take care, you. brother. Yeah. Yeah, Tupac, man. Is, is Tupac your favorite rapper? Definitely, your favorite? man. Definitely. Yeah. Pac and Nipsey, man. Pac and Nipsey. Yeah, Nipsey has a hell of an album. Man, Nip, Nip, Nip went from, uh, you know, probably from number twenty on my list to number two, man, and that was before his death. Mm, yeah. That, that that was that was. That was right after Victory Lap. When I heard Victory Lap, because it motivated me and inspired me so much, I said, man, anybody that can't understand that this man is bigger than the rap game, you know, and and got something against this dude, man, they just hate him, man, for no reason. But, man, Nick was a different type of dude, and he knew it. You get what I'm saying? He definitely and, knew it. And he, and he shared it with the world. So, you know, outside – Outside of rap, you know, like you, you've heard the saying, it's not about how rich you are, but how, how much you can enrich others. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And, and that's what Pac did, and that's what Nipsey did, because you take them out their respective rap careers and you put them in a neutral environment and they're going to still flourish aside from their respective talents. You get what I'm saying? And they was they were for the people, so... To me, that mean a lot. You get what I'm saying? Because I like everyday people. You get what I'm saying? And, and that's what they were. They were they were, they were very uh you could reach out and touch them. You get what I'm saying? And they they was there for that. So um 
and and then they were they were highly talented in, in the rap game. So on on every level, man, they they one and two, neck and neck, man. You know, either or. Yeah, I definitely believe that over time, Nipsey would have been known by his government name more so than Nipsey Hussle. Definitely. You get definitely. what I'm saying? Like he never. He never got the chance to flourish in that realm, man. Right. We, 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 we never, we, we got to see that. We got, we got to see Ermius, mm -hmm. you know, through Nipsey, through Nipsey Hustle, but we didn't actually get to see Ermius aside from Nipsey Hustle. Yeah. Like, you like, know? like Nipsey Hustle being in his rear view mirror. Right. Kind of like, like Jay Z to Sean Carter. Right. But we can project just oh, based yeah. on sure. what he gave us how great that image of right. Ermis right. Askedon was truly was. And then by those who he inspired, his camp, his brother, mm -hmm. and his family, uh, you know, his homies, mm -hmm. other people in the industry, like, like one thing you can, like nobody in, nobody that worked with Nip had anything. I've, I've yet to see or hear anybody in the industry or on the streets have anything bad to say about him. Like, you know, that, that, that says a lot. Yeah, or just flat out negative. You get what I'm saying? Like, wow. like he stole ten thousand dollars from me. Oh, he wasn't this. He wasn't that. We ain't. We haven't heard that story because as soon as he dies, people want to be famous, you know. And right. and they would have told those stories on him, but of course, it's very few and far between if they are any, you know. So exactly. Uh, yeah, that's a credit to his his character. And, and 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 you know, nobody's perfect. Whatever mistakes he made, man, he made atonement for his errors. Mm -hmm. Just by way of his community service. Sure, sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, like uh I remember him getting I remember maybe maybe months before he got killed. Maybe yeah, about six months. That summer before he got killed, I remember I was with my cousin. And my cousin said it, man. He said, Man, Nip gonna get killed. That's what he told me. We was driving, I think we was coming from Vegas, man. He was like, Nip gonna get killed and one of his homies gonna do it. I said, damn. I said, why, why, why you think that? He said, man, that's just how it is, man. He said, that's how it go. He said, man, he, 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 he too, he too touchable. Like you can touch him too much. Like, and just being from sixties, that's just how it is. Like that they know their neighborhood known for that. Anybody from LA know that they just known for that. So. It was crazy when it happened. I was like, damn, man, my cousin said that was gonna happen just like it happened. And and it blew my mind out and it, you know, uh amidst the, the sad and emotion and, and, and all that, man. I was just like, damn man, he, he went out by, by one of his own homies, like that was crazy, man. That man, that's that that was sickening, man. Extremely. But he'll forever live on though, you know. That that even in death, man, can't nobody take his mark. You get what I'm saying? The mark he left on, left here for for everybody to uh remember him as and everybody to be inspired, man. Like just how me growing up, Tupac was that guy, Nip gonna be that guy for probably my son or hit in his you get what I'm saying, and all the kids of this era, like he'll never be forgotten, man. Right. You know what I mean? It's just sad. Well, Pac at 25, Nip at 33. Man. Boom. Boom. Fred, boxing lives on YouTube. You guys can take it from ESPN and FS1 as 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 far as commentary. Bro, I just wish all channels can sit in a room and figure something out. You know yourself, boxing lives here. I tried, man. I I I, I tried years ago. But they looked at me like I like I wanted to leech off of them. But I was telling them we should form a union and get paid to cover these fights. But they won't. But we want to compete against each other. It don't matter. Yeah, <laughs> like, like that's pennies on a dollar comparing to the guaranteed money we could have got in yeah. addition to getting the interviews. You know, yeah, so. that, that, that's that's crazy, man. Yeah, you're right, man. I remember you. I think I think we was downtown LA at a fight, and he was telling me something like that a couple yeah. years back. Yeah, about I would say about eight years ago. No, nah, about six years ago. I we were in the media room at 1 a.m. I said, This is bullshit. Why are we in here? 
we in here editing videos the same videos though we in right. the i like yeah, oh, yeah. This everybody is, got the same information i'm like this is stupid though. i said how about we form a union and place a demand upon these promotional companies to pay us oh yeah that's a good idea yeah yeah but you know they they were so that they so stuck in their ways and and think that people want to eat off of them but mm -hmm. uh, but there's a big budget out there you know covering these fights for free you know and man you know. but but it's true man youtube it, it's crazy because even before i met you and and and, and you know got to know you and, and know you know you'll get down with the box you know i'm like man that that's all I went to was YouTube for boxing, man. I didn't go to ESPN because every time ESPN came on, Kellerman, I'm like, I don't want to listen to this nigga talk. He don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Like, what what is he talking about, man? This, he he cover cover basketball or something, man. Stephen A. Smith cover football and basketball, man. Uh, the other dude uh, that be with Stephen A. Smith, the white cat, man. Y'all cover that. Y'all don't really y'all don't have no clue about boxing, man. So I always got my information from YouTube anyways, man. Right. <laughs> you know, somebody loading up fights, you know, from the from the from old school to current to the to the new boxing information to the uh uh Pacquiao training camps. Man, I remember I watched a lot. And I like I watched a lot of Floyd training camps. I watched a lot of Pac when I was fighting, I watched a lot of uh Zab Judah training camps, uh, a lot of Pacquiao training camps. You know, and I did this right on YouTube, man. You know, because YouTube, you can find all. It's somebody like you, like you know on the champ side, that's doing all that work. You know who I'm about on? Nah, you're right. Nah, you're right. Nah, you're absolutely right. Well, you and Blue and Ego can <laughs> even the wild <Wilder> hater. <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts, facts. The wild hater. We got to have him back on, man. Yeah, that's a cool guy, back, man. Man. I like him, man. I like. I like hanging out with the like, shall we say, like people like me, like not famous people. You know what I mean? Like where we just talk boxing and shit. Like that was, okay, it was like people, man. Yeah, like it's no expectations. We could just come in and and just yeah, power. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't getting you ain't getting paid uh three hundred dollars, three hundred thousand dollars to be a puppet, like like Bushy said. Right. Oh, he said that. <laughs> yeah, he was like, uh, I I I I forget what he said, uh, word for word, but he like. Man, I'm real, man. I keep it real. You can't pay me three hundred thousand dollars for fake. You get what I'm saying? He like, I'm gonna keep it real, man. I like Bushi, man. He just did an interview. I saw. But I, I didn't watch it. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna we gonna take a commercial break since we can. It's you know it's it's we do what we want. You just said it. so. You were a part of this, L. Ah! Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was that was special, man. You hear the bass? That shit, cold to the motherfucker. You convinced us that you were the last messenger. Huh? How many other bastard children do you have? A long man click the link click the link click the link in the comment section man and uh go watch go watch nine wise man what's up kq casey you know what i mean and uh uh so go ahead and uh click the link and uh enjoy the movie you know what i mean so you actually was a part of that man yeah and it was a, it was a hell of an experience man yeah it was, it was a I, I, I was thoroughly uh uh excited about it and i, I enjoyed it man it, it, it was definitely something that i'll never forget and you know it's a moment i'll share with uh with my son you know and uh -huh. and with, with anybody who you know inquire about it you get what i'm saying like i, I was there you get what i'm saying I, right you know pre pre uh recording you know i remember you just told me about when it when the, when the idea spawned in your mind I'm, I'm quite sure it was it has spawned in your mind far before you shared it with me but i knew just from our numerous conversations we had about your know, inspiration of, uh, of Brother Malcolm X, you know, um, I knew you would do something special like this and, and you know, in remembrance of him and his name, you get what I'm saying, and what he stood for. So I, I, I knew your passion would draw you to do something, you know, genius like this. Yeah. 
strong piece of work. You know, I, I was listening to uh, there's two perfect songs that that uh, that I, I just think are just perfect. You know, what I mean, let me get the titles exactly, because some people may know them by inner. Let's see. Inner. Let me tell you, it's uh, it's just perfect. Let me get the title exactly because it has like, a long title. Inner City Blues, Any City Blues by Marvin Gaye. I think that's a perfect song, right? And uh, um, uh, Duke Ellington, I think it has a perfect song too. It's called uh, Three Kings. The th oh my God. I think Nine Wives is up there with, with that. I, I I think it's a perfect piece of work. No, definitely. You no, know, I, I, I do for what it's supposed to do. You oh, know? yeah. Right. Yeah, it, 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 it's, yeah. It's a perfect fit mm -hmm. for yeah. exactly what it was, yeah. you know, intended. Yeah, yeah. I, like, like I, I, I get comments like, "Oh, like from people that support the Nation of Islam." I'm like, "It's film made for you. I don't give a fuck what you think. Right, right. <laughs> like, I don't care what you think." <laughs> it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's historically accurate, though. Yeah, it, it, it is historically it, accurate. It, 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 it can't be the language. It can't be refuted. You get what I'm saying, mm -hmm. like. If anybody think otherwise, you know, show me the evidence that that sh that proves me that proves you a liar. Yeah, that's what I say. Is prove me wrong. I dare you to prove me wrong instead of yeah. saying that was that was 50, 60 years ago. Don't say that. Show yeah. me that I'm wrong. Don't tell me it was sixty years. Like, okay, slavery was longer than that. That that means that's it wasn't. exactly what I say. Does does that negate facts? Mm -hmm. Not your truth. Not what everybody says is their truth. Right. No facts. Right. Facts and your truth mm -hmm. are totally opposite. Right. According to how words are translated differently in the different times we live in. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or phrases or sayings. Because truth now is is widely known as a personal opinion mm -hmm. or a personal perspective rather than a fact. Right. right. And you know, that's just the uh I guess the degradation of society. You get what I'm saying? why people uh why people don't like their moral compass challenge oh man that for for a number of reasons but the main reasons is uh uh a lot of times uh especially with a person who's ignorant mm -hmm. see we all have pride mm -hmm. and gotcha. See, pride attached to a person that's ignorant mm -hmm. is really no medicine for them. Wow. Because they don't want to take the medicine. Wow. Because once they get a dose of the medicine, they realize, remember, a drug is supposed to alter you. So once they get a dose of the medicine, they feel the alteration occurring. And that's truth. That's why it's widely known that truth hurts. Mm. So for a grown adult person to be brought forth, whether it be a conversation before another adult person mm -hmm. that challenges their belief, which is actually a lie, that pride kicks in. Mm -hmm. So instead of taking the medicine, they spit it out, they regurgitated it and spit it at you. And now you the problem. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times being the messenger sometimes is, is a dangerous game to play. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. to answer that question for, to, for those who may have missed the point, when you've been lied to so long and somebody exposes the lie that you base your concept of life on, it hurts you first of all, but that person in front of you giving you the message in your mind is supposed to be the least likely person to do it because a lot of times your lie has led you to believe that you are better than, than that person before you, like meaning that you are above reproach. You get what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. It's a great explanation. And, uh, everything boxing and sports, just DM me. If you didn't get it, um, like I told everybody, we had to combine two programs to release the film because the film was bigger than the actual website that we hosted it on. 
So we had to combine it. So if you didn't get it, just DM me your receipt or email me your receipt or just text me. You got my number. So just text me your receipt and I'll gladly send you the film. Just make it that way. And if anybody else did it, as I told you guys, just DM me, email me, call me and I'll send you. The, because I know there's probably like maybe 100 people that didn't get it because we had to combine it. And my apologies, but just send it to me. I'll send it to you in less than two, one minute. And in, 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 in any order that, that for those who haven't seen a film or have seen a film, in any order, do your research, watch the film, watch yeah. the film, do the research, and you'll really see how everything just come together and you'll really appreciate it more because you won't be lost. You'll have a, you know, it'll all come together for you. Yeah, yeah. Because for, for, for me, when you when you told me about it, it was nothing foreign to me. I'm like, oh, this is going to be great because it's going to be exposure. Mm -hmm. And it's the truth. Like, yeah. what's better than the truth? Yeah. So it, it, that's why I told you, I thought it was a great idea when you when you, when you you first told me about it. I'm like, hey, yeah. man, go for it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I... Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I was going to say, you know why it's so trivial? Because if I use... Louis Farrakhan's voice, they still don't believe it. <laughs> it's, the, it's the weirdest. If wow. Louis Farrakhan admits that Elijah Muhammad had teenage secretaries, how are you not listening? What's the? But if I use my voice, I'm a hypocrite. I'm a what? What? what I'm an agent. Yeah, we, but, but but it go it go back to this being that messenger is sometimes a dangerous game to play. Yeah, and and it's really not a game. It's really it just it, it just it's serious. You get what I'm saying? Like when right. you stand for truth, you know, people gonna despise that man. Right, right. Uh, and, and again, a lot of times when a person that's ignorant is being awakened to truth and light. Mm -hmm. it, it don't sit well with a man that pride take effect and it just corrupt him even more right right champion heart what's up yo fred what's going on my brother hey what you got what's all good hey yo, what's going on brother how you been man it's been a minute since i've seen you yeah i'm good brother i appreciate that man how you doing man it's all good you you got a uh you got a boxing channel i didn't even know uh yeah, I had one going for a little minute, man. But I ain't really, you know, I ain't really did nothing in some time, man. You know, just been busy doing other things and really just uh been having a distaste for a lot of things in boxing, man. So my 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 enthusiasm, my excitement, my eagerness ain't really been in it. Like I'm not, I stay afloat with the news through Fred and probably Champ side just on headlines. You get what I'm saying? Right, I feel you. I feel you. I'm a purist in the game, so. I, you know, a lot of this stuff taking place today is not pure, so I'd rather not even be part of the, the, the spectacle, you know? Right, right. I feel you. I feel you. I'm, I'm going to piggyback real quick off of what you was just saying. You know, you're completely right. Uh, you know, truth uh, uh, truth is very uncomfortable. You know, Definitely. so people people are more comfortable with, with uh, what they believe is, is fact. And when you question that, if, they live, if they've lived their, their life, by that lie that and they would rather continue to live like that and right. deal with the truth because it feels that you know they live they it feels that uh, that they are uh, uh, the fabric of their their livelihood has has been torn from them so exactly. they, uh, so they rather not accept it you know what right. what i'm saying uh but yeah you definitely on point with that man um on that deal with uh with charlo um uh, uh i get what you were saying for it should have been somebody there to do that, but you gotta understand, man. The Charlos are are, are they they real emotional, like women. You can tell that they were raised by 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 a single parent. By, mm, you know what I'm saying? Because they're yes, exactly. Because they're real emotional. Boy, man. You know, right? Exactly. They're real emotional, like women. And the thing is, is that you know there was uh, uh, you got a lot of hang ons, you know, around you, and nobody, everybody's a yes man. So. You know, whatever he does, everybody goes with it instead of someone, you know, like you were saying, Fred, going, hey, wait, now we're going to do it like this. You know, he's got nobody like that around him because, you know, that's he, he's never he's never seen that before. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, not having that that positive male in his life growing up, you know, uh, uh, you don't know how to handle things like that. So, you know, you go to the extreme, you know, with the emotions like, you know, like 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 what he did. 
one thing I liked about uh, uh, Damon Dash, and he was saying this, he was, and he was saying that when they had Rock or when they uh, had um, uh, what's the rap um, Rockefeller, what is it? Rockefeller, yeah, he was saying that what that his his plan was to have ten people around around him and everybody, you know, be able to eat. You know what I'm saying? He said so that for for example, he said Jay Z wasn't on this. He said his thing was if he fall off, right? He's got ten people around him. They all got, they all able to give him a hundred thousand dollars. Bam, he back on his feet. Right. You see what I'm saying? And he said Jay Z wasn't on that, and that's what Dame was. He was that's what he was wanting to put together. You know, to be able to have that many people around to where everybody can eat, so that if something happens. And you on the spot, you should be able to go to each one of these people that are in your circle and get a hundred thousand, and you back on your feet. That's how it's supposed to be, man. That's how it's supposed to be, exactly. You know, exactly. That, that, so that's, that's what every other group of people does, except right. us. Right, right. So that's what I'm saying. When that deal happened with his car being declined, that shouldn't have been a problem. This even shouldn't even be. This shouldn't even be in the news. Somebody in that circle should have been like, "It's cool, I got it." Right. It should have been all. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. But if you don't have people around you, you know, and everybody's e eating well, then you won't get that. That's facts. You know, like like what uh uh like what Miss T was saying. You know, they just they just takers. They just around with their hands out, getting whatever they can. Mm -hmm. You know, but yeah, but yeah, man. I just want to come in real quick, man, and say what's up to you, brother. I hadn't seen you in a minute. I'm working right now, man. Where you but, headed? Uh, uh, I, I'm done, man. I'm waiting to uh, to get a load. I got to take to uh, what is it, Anna, Anna, uh, Anna, Texas. It's about an hour outside of Dallas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah most definitely, man. I give it to y'all, brothers, man. Salute. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, brother. There, brother. All right. All right. All right. Salute to my brothers in the chat, man. Salute to you, brothers. Sure. Reggie Thank Owens, you. Blue Blood, everybody. All right, now. Thanks, brother. Thanks. Later. Yeah, man. People are afraid of the truth, man. Woo. Because it's 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 the weirdest thing ever, man. One person. It's funny how one person can say something, and it's law. The next person can say it. They are a criminal, or it, it, yeah, it's, yeah, ostracized. It's 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 the weirdest shit ever. It's the weirdest. It's the I I don't grasp it, it at all. It's, 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 it's human nature, though. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying, like. Mm -hmm. Like, and it, it, it's the same. It's the same, you know, story we seen with, with, with Jesus, man. You know, mm -hmm. the people didn't accept him because he came in town on a donkey instead of draped in gold, because that's what they wanted to see. That's what the Pharisees wanted to see. They wanted to see somebody that was equivalent to what they held as kingly. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying, and not what right. God appointed as kingly. You know that's that's human thinking though that's inferior thinking mm -hmm. you know ignorant without knowledge you know uh that's why they use celebrities to to push whatever to help them push whatever agenda that they putting out because this society is based off celebrity worship mm -hmm. so people follow the trends of celebrities man let a celebrity walk a weird hairstyle that we call stupid or gay or whatever that we might not like as a as a whole. Let them do it. It's going to instantaneously be a hit. It's going to go viral. Everybody going to do it. You get what I'm saying? Like skinny jeans became popular because a celebrity did it. You know, getting tattoos all on your face became popular because of celebrity. Things that were just, you know, that used to be like, man, that's weird. That's crazy. But they get celebrities to do all this mm -hmm. because people are so hooked on celebrity worship. If you were somebody that that the general public uh, wanted to uh, announce this this message that you put across in the film, it would be widely accepted as truth. Uh. You just not the person. You remember, you the least likely in their mind to reveal this truth and not even not even really reveal it it's already been revealed yeah you you you're just another source mm -hmm. 
they didn't accept Malcolm X, you know, revealing that. Look what happened to him. Right, right. You, you get what I'm saying? It just, sure, sure, sure. It's just 60 years removed from that time. Right. Now, you're just refreshing the people that may have not have talked about it, that are about to die, that are older, because they didn't kept it a secret. Mm -hmm. And those who just don't know, you enlightening those who have no knowledge of it, because a lot right. of people be like, man, you don't, uh, so many people like, like I didn't talk to about 10 people about the film. And these is all older cats that I be at the track with, that I be in a casino with. These cats is old. I only hang with older cats at the track, 50, 60, 70 years old. A lot of these cats like, oh man, I, I never knew that that, that 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 happened. I never knew Elijah Muhammad. I never knew Malcolm X talked about that. I never knew Malcolm Max got killed because of that. I never knew that. Like, ignorance. Why? Because nobody is telling them, them, them 80 year olds. Them 90 year olds that was around back then, they not telling the history. Why? Because they've been assigned and they've been told, hey man, leave that in the past. That'll get you killed. You see what happened to Michael Mack. Don't talk about that. So now they living in fear to tell the truth. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, you know what I think? Um, is what's disheartening is how people devalue another man's life because when you say this isn't true uh fuck it uh yeah, Fred, or, or or you're basically saying Malcolm max life ain't you basically true. saying fuck Malcolm max exactly you and people don't saying, people that, don't that, get that you basically saying Malcolm max lie he, he lied he's a liar yeah you said Malcolm max he is a died liar. for nothing he yeah. he put he put his family through that for nothing. He just went out on the limb for nothing. Like a person of his stature, at that time, Malcolm X was probably the most important political figure in the world. And I'm not talking about political as the politics we know today. I'm just saying just being on that scene. He is probably, let me let me use a better word. He is probably the most influential person in the world at that time. Yeah. You think somebody of his stature would basically make up a lie like that to put his family in jeopardy, to put himself in jeopardy. Let's let's, let's talk about self-preservation. Put himself in jeopardy first, and then his kids, his wife, his extended family, his close friends, man, his, his livelihood. You think he had just being who we know Malcolm X to be and what he had become at that time. Right. Like nobody about to relinquish all that, man, for, for, for a lie. Come on, man. Somebody that knew he was going to die and said, hey, I'm going to still stand for what I stand for. Somebody that was willing to stand on their square and die for what they, what they stood for. Over a lie, man, that's basically saying Malcolm X wasn't shit. He was a liar. He, he, he was stupid. Like, that's just totally devaluing him as a human. As a man. Facts. Man, it's crazy. <laughs> people, people that, people that, that, that don't want to accept the truth for what it is right before them are just people who really don't, they just don't care. It's, it's, it's disgusting to me how people they, are so strong on one side they, they, and, they and I have no they, regard for for understanding the facts. They, they are the same people that rather uh, be told what this verse in the Bible means rather than read the Bible. Gotcha. gotcha. Why? Because they don't want to read the Bible. It's too long. So I read, I'd rather let the pastor tell me what that verse means. Even if he uh misconstruing it for his benefit or whatever the case you get what i'm saying these are people that just don't want to do the work right because they don't care right <laughs> but That's you know truth uh truth stands in a class of its own of its own and truth yeah. validates truth so truth validates truth you know 
no truth is unhidden. Right. 702, what's up? What's up with you, man? Hey, what's up? <clears throat> what's up with you, L? How you doing, brother? Turn me down. No much chilling, chilling, man. Just got done working out or whatever, well, really running or whatnot. No oh, much, this, uh, much. This you know this what's is up, camp? This town? Oh, this town? Yeah. What's oh, up, what's man? up, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call, call you tomorrow, tomorrow man. I'm gonna call you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we gonna. No, I, I just caught. I caught the show. Uh huh. And I just wanted to basically say, you, we. We talking about people who are trapped in dogma, bro. So like, they're not going to believe that truth because they're already fighting over dogma. Mm. The, what, what people don't understand is the most high didn't leave behind religion. He was against religion. Religion is man's way to most high, not the most high way to man. Mm. So you're dealing with people who are boxed in already. So when you tell them that truth, you're an enemy to them. Right. They are you you've basically taken away their safeguard. Exactly. Mm, interesting. And that makes it very uncomfortable. Exactly. Some people's spirit cannot handle that. See that when you being fed lies, your moral compass is already off. Right. When you're following oh, a pedophile. Oh, yes. Your moral compass is off center. I told you he was exactly. short, Freddie. He's short. It's, like, he's short. Oh, it's like, oh, my God. So your moral <laughs> compass, you think is centered when it's so far left or so far right or so far up or so far down. Facts. Gotcha. Facts. If, if, yeah. if, a person, if a person in your own group could say, hey, my boy, you know the guy that we call the honorable one? touches kids and you still say well he's the honorable one you're 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 the, the lies have destroyed you already yeah. so when somebody come yeah. and tell you the truth that's outside of their cult you an enemy mm. they're gonna say man fuck you man you don't know what you're talking about man how the hell you know what you're talking about man and all of you done is research things that have been made public see like the good book say People who don't know the past will fall to the coming. So yep. you're dealing with fools that don't even know who they following because they never studied the history of what they following. Yep. So they falling for foolishness. Mm -hmm. Facts. And dogma will always be their entrapment. It's like how Moors argue with Hebrews and y'all basically the same. You, but y'all arguing over dogma. You mm. idiot. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's like a light skinned dude and a dark skinned dude arguing about the pigmentation of one's melanin. Oh, yeah, I'm more melanated than you because you light skinned. <laughs> right. You trapped in the dogma of who has more power. And that's the testament of man's flesh. And that's why most people with power become corrupt. Mm. Man. Because you, you are as closest to your own reality. So if your own reality is destruction, when you become a leader, no matter how intelligent you are, you're going to destroy. Yep. You're gonna Say that again. Say that again. When, when your spirit is set on, when you, you are the closest thing to your reality, right? So like most, most people put the things that they, that, that they might would do on you. So yeah. when you are following somebody like, like this and you put them into a position of power, they're, they're, no matter how intelligent they are, they always gonna lead you to destruction. Because that's the closest see, thing people, to reality. See people, see people are falling in love with beautiful words, powerful speeches, and not looking at the man himself. That man is a pedophile. Hmm. 
And no matter how you want to slice it, and I'm not saying I'm holier than thou, but no matter how you want to slice it, you have to be sick if you keep on doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. I'm talking about all these prestigious black leaders, as they say, like the polite motherfucker. Way before this child that they that just came up that 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 they brought up, I'm talking about the one of his wives that he met as a kid. He's using he's using his intelligence to lure children. Mm -hmm. we dealing with a devil here man mm. and people need to understand what's going on in the the black community and in any and, and society that that we that we hold and structure as black people mm. and my my problem is like i told l because we talk a lot was i don't like how brothers and sisters try to just sweep this shit under the table oh no he didn't do it fuck it but let it happen to you and somebody do that to you, you will be destroyed. You don't know what these, you don't know what type of skeleton these people got in their closet when they come out and they say these things mm -hmm. and some fool get on TV and crush him with intelligent words. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you should never put a human being above you. He's human. Right. He's affected by time, space, and matter. Anybody affected by time, space, and matter should not be the head of you. Facts. 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 If anyone don't understand that, you whack. That's what Jay-Z said. He's short, oh, man. Um, He's short. He's short, man. You're right. <laughs> time, space, yes. And, 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 that's the, and that's the thing that separate us from being a God, God, a God being. We God-like because of the image we was born in right. and the power of the tongue. But what separates us is we affected by time, space, and matter. So yeah. you can't go to a priest and say, hey, man, I sin, brother. Can, can you please forgive me? How can he do that? How? Power not vested in him to do such a thing. Salvation is your work, your job. Not the pastors. A lot of these dudes are just collecting a dollar from you. That's it. Going home, slapping the shit out their wife, fucking everybody in the choir. Excuse my friends, but you know how it go down in, in most of these churches wow. and these denominations. Some of these people fight over denominations more than they fight over the scripture. Oh, man, I'm Baptist, man. I'm, Pentecostal. I'm Protestant. These are things that the reason why so many people are walking around here confused because mm. you drinking lies, man. You mm. you you mixing poison with medicine. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly what they. Do. So oh, wow. Yeah. So, so, so let me ask you this. And by the way, I'm going to interview him tomorrow too. So so which is going to be awesome. Uh, nothing should be in between the our ascension to God, like our connection to God. It should be nothing between us. Everything else. I'm, I'm trying to create a visual for it so so people can understand it. It's it's our con connection to God, whichever direction I guess you want to go, right? And everything else should be on the side, passing information. That's that's correct because your job for because the the promise from the Most High was salvation. So your your job is to get that salvation and maintain it. You cannot maintain the salvation through corrupted flesh. You right. can only maintain the salvation through <sighs> repetition of studying, staying Facts. grounded in what you believe in. Facts. Exactly. And constant repenting. Like constant repenting. Repetition. Right. You will never be perfect. But if you chase it, you can pursue excellence. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We always don't know sin just because of the flesh. So you can't let mistakes hold you back. That's how the enemy works. Mm. But yeah. people reaching out and lending their spiritual energy to people that may not have their benefit is foolish. Mm. Yep, the bar becomes uneven. Yo, 
Exactly. It's deeper than what people think when you just go to somebody and you break down in them and you tell them your deepest, darkest thoughts. You are exchanging energy with them. For you to do that, you would have to absolutely trust that person with your life. And how many people can you really say that about? Mm -hmm. I see you just going to these churches and just say, hey, man, this is me right here. You don't know what that man's saying about you. Mm. So that conversation should be between you and God. Definitely. And when you and when you in the church, those conversations should be about studying the scripture and building each other's knowledge of it. That's how you talk about your problem. Yeah. Through the scripture. Right. <laughs> That's where you get your encouragement from. <laughs> Right. Facts, man. Facts. It, it facts. Give us, it give if us you all believe in the sense. Bible, you're right. If you believe in the Quran, you're absolutely right. It you're gives absolutely all the right. Or the Torah, we are absolutely right. You should be solving your problems through scripture, not through this social is, doctrine. This is the facts. The most high said that's what the word was for. Mm. How in 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 in, in, Rev, in revelations it didn't say he was gone hit the devil with a sword and say he was going to use the word. So problems need to be solved with the word. That's why different scriptures have different meanings and different exactly. interpretations to different life and situational moments. Mm. Yeah. True. Uh. We are here to if you and I ain't saying we as in people, everybody may not even believe in this, but the people that do, we only here to exalt the most high. So Gosh. how can we go in ordain some man in between that? So what nah, do you brother, mean? So, so what do you mean? We are that we are soldiers of the same army. And we all need to be equally yoked. Nobody needs to be above my right. head because we all affected by time, space, and matter. The church is within the communion of the people. Mm. And for too long, and because of misinterpretation, different poisonous of different poisoning of the Catholic Church organization people have been fooled so you have a lot of confused people and then you have a lot of churches that you will go in one sunday they go over a, 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 a scripture in a sermon you come next sunday they didn't change it they didn't even break it down for you you didn't left that church dumber than when you didn't came in yeah and now you didn't moved on to the next book now you don't even go there no more because you like shit what is he talking about? Yeah. So, so people b believe that in order for them to go to heaven, they must be accepted by, they must be granted permission or through their spiritual advisor. Please. Salvation is through the most high, not through the gift of man. Mm -hmm. That's where you, that's where your eternal salvation is going to come from. That's that's not through the gift of man. That's th that's through the gift of Most High. Religion, see, religion has tricked people. That see, it's, man's way to the Most High is the complete wrong way. You may have good intentions, but that's not the way to him. Yeah. The way At to heart, him is you may have good intentions, but as we know in the Bible, there's been people with good intentions. That ain't seen the gates. That didn't make it. Because it was their way. Exactly. Mm. It, like, 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 we don't, we don't dictate policy. He dictates policy. He tells us how to serve him. We don't do that. Man don't dictate that. That's like if I come in your house and I start telling you, this how I want your house to be ran. Mm. It's totally unnatural. Wow. Because, 
this not my house. This is your house. We didn't create God. He created us. So how are we going to tell him this type of lifestyle or this type of service that we render to you is acceptable when it's not according to your standards? That's fast. It's just like it's just like most people think that 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 Jewish star is the star of David. That's not the star of David, bro. As a Catholic organization implied that in for foolishness. That's the star of the Moloch. They when they when they when they were praising the golden bull, you know, when when Moses went up on top of the mountain and whatnot, that's where that star comes from. It has nothing to do with David. But because people don't study because they only go to church and keep hearing it from somebody else. You got people out here thinking that that's the real star of Israel. When everybody that left that was slaves out of ancient Kemet may have not been followers of Christ. And that's evident. Yeah. And it, 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 all it takes is for somebody to pick up a book and ask for the right guidance. There's plenty, plenty of brothers and sisters, I'm sure, in your circle. Nowadays, there should be a few niggas, excuse my friends, few niggas in your circle that know no, something about talking. something. If you don't, then I don't know who you running around with. <laughs> <laughs> so is it a... Is it wrong for us to put an urban twang on it or our twang on the, the language or the verses in the Bible to make it palatable? In your greatest guesstimation or what you think? It, 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 what, the reason why I say it is because why you think most churches uh, base their sermon off the New Testament? Because it fits people's perspective of they of they sin. Explain that. If the Catholic organization has implied, you know, you, you can you can you can play both sides of the field, mm -hmm. but you know, as long as you pray and ask for forgiveness, mm. basically saying the most high know you're not perfect. Uh, so you know, you can still man. you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. It's and, just like how most it's just like how most people believe in a rapture, but then in the book, it says that when the locusts come, the people that would be protected are the people with the seal of Christ. So if if his people still here protected with the seal of Christ, where is the rapture coming in? Mm. Right. Got you. Got it. it Somebody right. that just it's, took a that of, it's a it's lot of nasty. confusion being Im implemented to divert that's why most people use the bible as entertainment and we know the the root word entertainment is to divert what you got people right now is they're lost in bread and circus this is why they don't have the, <laughs> they lost in what vote. bread and circus. they're lost in bread and circus this is the reason why they don't have the ability to revolt bread and circus what's that bread and circus like the old terminology, give them bread and circus and they shall not revolt. Uh, this is what yeah. has been going on for centuries, sir. Exactly. The, you, you, hey, the that, woman, that, that's crazy you the, mentioned that, brother, because you see what happened when during the shutdown, you give them during the lockdown, they gave everybody money and they and they opened up the sports again and that calmed everybody down. That that put the veil over everybody's eyes. Hey, uh, no, to piggyback on that, check this out. And you know how you know how I was doing cats on Instagram that was doing this shit. Motherfuckers was so they wanted bread and circus back so much. And I know y'all remember this when the lockdown first started. Niggas got on TikTok and was in virtual clubs dancing. Yep. Mm. Instead of using this opportunity to build your spirit, they still wanted to maintain their fleshly power. Mm -hmm. mm. Because that that's where the separation is at its finest and at its best. Because see, that's when everybody became equal. That's when we could have been our most powerful. Exactly. And it, 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 without without celebrity, 
without celebrity status that the world had given to these people, they were just like everybody else. There's no more I mean, uh, shows. There's no more concerts. There's no. There's nothing in society that tells you you are greater than me. Facts. Facts. But again, you name bread and circus. This is what they got people with. Oh, you want to go to the Raider game? Get the jab. What yeah. is me going to the Raider game got to do with a, a immune, you know, immune response? You know what I'm saying? Like what they should be promoting is good health. But what people don't understand is there's no money in the cure. But what we have people suffering from is Stockholm syndrome. From the first lockdown, all people did was consume themselves with fear. Oh, man, if I go outside, I'm going to catch it. They said, don't get any daylight. They said, wear 13 masks and stay in the house at all times. And then, this is how they got you niggas. They said, oh, we opening y'all back up sun, uh, summertime. Summertime got back open. They said, uh, 30,000 motherfuckers died. We mandating vaccines right now. And you niggas can't even roll the dice in the casino if you don't get a needle. This is how you play the victim and because most people have Stockholm syndrome we already know what that means you know what i'm saying it's when you when, when you hold a bond with your captive with the person that has you captive most people went along with it because they felt like the person that had them captive under lockdown the government big daddy was going to give them everything they needed back if mm. they just listened <laughs> I'm I'm it's how you lose all of your little freedom you have you i See, what people don't understand is for true to live true freedom, you have to live dangerous freedom. Are you are you gonna be a peaceful slave for the rest of your life? Mm. Facts. It's the same thing like boxing. Like how I'm coming up in the game and Ella tell you I'm a B-side fighter. I'm one and two. I started off as a heavyweight. My dad died. I kind of, you know, got depressed or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Fell out the game a little bit. Fell back into the streets. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Inglewood. Mm -hmm. I you saw know, you Fell name. off into the streets or whatever. But I picked myself up because my pops was a man and he raised a man. So I bounced back quick. Moved out here to Vegas. I'm training with Arthur Williams, the former Cruiserweight IBF champion of the world right now. And um, I'm moving down to Cruiser or whatever. But, you know, I'm doing this all out of the mud. And you have to have that same work ethic in the body of Christ. Mm. You have yep. to get it out the mud. You can't rely on Pastor Johnson every Sunday and Wednesday. Because he ain't there through the weekday. He only there on the weekend. Yep. And on the weekend, you giving them $300 and leaving there stupid. Man, empty. Mm. With no spirit. How long people going to be a slave to religion? And I know people confused, like, what? This guy just, he's talking about Jesus, and he's talking about a slave to religion? Yeah, Jesus wasn't religion. He died because of it. The yeah. most high was spiritual. And being mm. spiritual is outside of that stupid box religious people are in. Mm. Champion Heart says, pretty interesting. Facts and people are standing in line assisting in their own genocide. Shaking my head. It's Jeez. a big fact. Look, Truth. me and L was just talking about it today. I said, people so caught in bread and circus, you got motherfuckers breaking their spines on crates. Isn't that retarded? <laughs> it, you, you know why it's not retarded? And it, it is retarded to us. Yeah. But you know why it's not retarded to them? Because when a foolish person has no solution, the only thing they can do is have fun, sir. And entertainment. Entertainment is their healing. Yeah. Let's do some foolishness, y'all. Come on. Just like the mass pandemic, mass uh, pandemonium and chaos after George Floyd died. <laughs> Come on, bro. We're we we still civility mortis under this LLC we call the United States of America and 
and we talking about police brutality, they have the right to do what they doing. I'm not saying it's right, but legally on paperwork mm -hmm. under the LLC of the United States, because we refer to ourselves as black. And if you look up, the Dred Scott case was never overturned. So what's, what does that make us? Cattle. So when a police officer is gunning you down, it's because you have no nationality. We walk around here, most of us calling ourselves African-American. And your, your great grandma was born in Louisiana and she was an Indian from a tribe. But, you know, I'm I'm, I'm going to stop holding y'all up, man. I'm going to holler at you, man. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the show, Fred. Thank you, bro. My nigga, I'm hey, when I, come, when I come out there, man, you know I'm going to come to the garage, man. I need some of that good work, man. Definitely, man. You got it, brother. Yeah, I, I'm yes, going to call sir, you tomorrow. Yes, I'm going to call you tomorrow. Tania Marie said you spit in the fact. I'm going to interview him tomorrow, man. How you pronounce your first name? Askia? No, well, that's, <laughs> that ain't my... That ain't my real name. I'm gonna tell you why. I, I'm gonna tell you why I put that because you know I believe in manifestation of the tongue. Askia Muhammad was a, a very powerful man mm -hmm. um, back in ancient Kemet times. He was a king, uh, mm -hmm. extremely rich. Like I think uh, he was the second richest dude under uh, Mansan Musa or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you know I, I put that as my name, and then I got uh, my Instagram Inglewood Champion, and I got the uh, I got all four of the title belt belts because that's my vision, and that's gonna stay up there even when I get it. Mm, but okay. my real name is Tamis, so but I, I tell people Tam because most people can't pronounce it. They say Tammy, so Tomas, uh -huh. but it's Tamis, T A M I S. Okay, Tamis, got it. Appreciate you. Man. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you tomorrow, man. Thank you for coming through for sure. Thanks for them gems, sure. Ms. Love, Appreciate you. T B Rice, man. Are you a real person? Ooh. Are you a real person, T B Rice? I gotta see if you're a real person, man, because I ain't seen this name before. TB Rice. I, I I told you he was short, Freddie. Yeah, he's short. Yeah. Man. All right, cool. All right, go. Cool. All right, man. What's up, man? Not much, man. Hey, I just I just want to uh, I'm trying to keep it short, man. Great show, Fred, for sure. Oh, Great thank show, you. though. Thank you, man. But uh, I just want to touch on what they were saying. Like, I just feel like um, I feel like some people they they worship the religion instead of worshiping God. That's and and that's what they don't understand. It's like, you know, they they live they live a certain way. They think they live in a certain way, when it might not really be that the that way they should be living. So it's like, I guess. I guess what I'm trying to say is is uh. It's like it's like uh for me for instance like I grew up Baptist but I wouldn't I don't necessarily call myself a Christian anymore because it's like yeah I read the Bible just like I read any other text or book or anything else and it's like yeah I believe in the Bible but it's not to a point where it's like do, is it real or is it fake I believe in the message you know what I'm saying I believe in the message of the Bible I believe in the message of the Quran you know it's it's just all what you understand and it's like People don't understand that you can go into a different realm here. It's like when you talk to yourself in your head, you can hear yourself without making any sounds. Not you know what I'm saying? Right. Your ears don't pick up on anything. Like that's that's why I say people gotta read the text for themselves and not necessarily listen to a preacher all the time. Because just because a preacher preaching in some way, that night. That message might not be interpreted. God might not be trying to send that message to you in that that way. Or it might, so not, it's like, it might it might not be given in the accurate interpretation, anyways. Right. Exactly. That, exactly. That, that, that's a lot of times why I don't touch people or it don't appeal to people because that voice you're talking about in your head is your conscience, and right truth has a ring to it. When you hear yeah. the truth about something, it's gonna resonate with you. Right. And a lot of times when people is being fed a lie, when they are expecting the truth, especially from a, 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 a person of reverence, it just don't seem right. But it's like, how can I question this person? Because he's supposed to be a God. So you kind of just get turned off. And now you don't even have no interest. Now your ability to 
interpret becomes dumbed down because your interest is not there. Because exactly. That 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 that, that, that ring of truth is not sparking in your in your inner self. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of times, and that's by design though. Like and I, and, Satan is very clever with, with his tricks, man, and his craft. Right, right. And I feel like I feel like when you when you read the text, like when you read it for yourselves and you and you see a, a story where somebody's getting killed brutally, like it make you feel a certain way inside. That like certain stuff like that touch your soul. It make you feel a certain way. So it make you feel a way like knowing right from wrong and and Definitely. oh, you know what I'm saying? Something was egregious and oh, that was a that was a miracle that this happened for a certain person or something right. like that. But my overall point was like a lot of people just they worship the religion instead of worshiping God. You know right. what I'm saying? The Bible is the Bible is there for reference to your life. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta read it for yourself. And understand the message, but I also want to say, I also the last thing I want to say is, at the end of the day, God is not judging you on how good of a Christian or how good of a Muslim that that you are. He's judging you on how good of a human being you are, and, and that's that's it for me, Fred. You are. Exactly. Mm. I appreciate it, Fred. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate. It. Thank you for calling in. First time caller. Welcome to the show. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey. It was like his uh, his body was in Wi Fi and his thoughts was on dial up, huh? <laughs> he was trying to he was trying to get it all together. Yeah, man. I know he was trying to get but it all he, together. He worked through it though, man. Yeah, I understand where he was. Yeah, I, I know exactly what he was saying. You're right. Mm -hmm. It's 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 how good of a human being you are. I believe that wholeheartedly. How good of a human being you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Whew, heavy show. We'll take one more call, man. One more call, and then we're gonna go over the cows. So someone called in a beam in, in the show. Yeah, I appreciate you coming in here, L. Thank you, thank oh, you. Thank you. I, I, I enjoyed it, man. Uh, nine one seven is the last call of the day. Nine one seven, what up? Hello. Yeah, what's up? Turn me down in the back. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Fred? I'm sorry. Uh, how you first, doing, man? First time caller. Who this? This is Joshua. Joshua. My name is Joshua. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you, man, for calling. How you man. doing, man? I appreciate you. Thank you for. Hey, listen. I'm, I'm first of all, I'm calling from New York City. Uh -huh. Um, so yeah, I just want to. Um, I was looking at on your topic on your show, brother, and um, it's a very great uh, topic. And um, I would like to kind of um expound yeah, on sure. uh, some of the stuff um that you brothers was talking about. Yeah, take your time. So um, yeah. So I'm one um. Uh, like the previous brother that you, you had on there, you know, um, I do not believe in um, at all in religion because one, if you know, um, uh, I don't know if a lot of people know, but religion itself um, is a dangerous word for me. Um, the uh, the meaning of it, if you look up the etymology of it, it means um, it's a Latin word and it means to bind, right? To bind you to what, you know, and it bind to bind you to um, a concept. So, you know, the the the, um, the inception of religion was basically founded off, you know, because of. And I don't know, if, you know, I'm not trying to say that I, I know anything, but I did study history and when I was in college, and that was one of the things that I took up. And, um, you know, the uh, at the time, at the height, um, you know, everybody knows about Constantine and how, uh, you know, when he, he was one of the uh, actually the first um pope to um to become a christian and what I, and, and um, all that right there but at the same time um they used to have this system called indulgences and i don't know if anybody's familiar with that indulgences was a practice that was get, um that was done um by the catholics and what they did was it was what they did was they took if anybody wanted to be absolved from their sins you know, they would take this, they would say, okay, um, you want to be absolved from your sins, so um, uh, you have to pay us an X amount of money, and, you know, um, we'll give you, um, uh, we'll write a certificate, and then that certificate will be your ticket into heaven. So this is how um, indulgences, you know, that, uh, that system was practiced for about a thousand years. This is why the church became so wealthy. Right, and then during the, the Reformation, sorry, that's how the collection place started. 
Right. So this is exactly. So this is how the, the you know, basically the collection plate is indulgences wrapped up. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if anybody knows anything about the scriptures, you know, the, the house of Israel, it was mandated for them, the Levites, the priests, to, um, for the for the, all the rest of the tribes to, uh, to, to, to give a tenth to the Levites because their possession was God. They didn't have any um, land. Their possession was right. God. They were the only tribe who did not have land. So because they were the priests um, and, uh, of the Most High um, and of the, uh, of the tribe, they were allocated. They, uh, they, they, it was mandated by the Most High to, um, for them, for the, for, the, for the rest of the tribes, to give them uh, a tenth. And it wasn't money. It was basically, you know, um, if you anything, um, yes. yeah, goods and all that right there. So, but this was specifically for the house of Israel. It was not for any other people. Now, God said that He will be a God to all who calls upon Him. But He said, "My firstborn is Israel, the house." You know what I'm saying? This is right. and this is you can't refute that. You know what I'm saying? The house of Israel is who this is uh, who who that was for. Right. So. Um, you know, that, you know, so, you know, a lot of people would be like, well, how is it that, you know, and who are, uh, who is the scriptures referring to today? So I always tell them like, listen, all you got to do is follow scriptures. It tells you who these people are today. The people, it tells you the curses and all that right there. And who, um, uh, the only people who met this, um, all the curses of the book in the, uh, um, were, uh, the, the so-called African-American people. And I say so-called respectively because, like I said, I don't consider myself, you know, and if, you, if you're here by way of slavery, then you are a part of that covenant. If you, you know, so choose to be grafted back in, you know what I'm saying? So this is this is specifically for the house of Israel who was, you know, who was scattered to the four corners of the earth. That's you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, huh? I said that's very interesting because it, it kind of jogged some 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 things that 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 been in the back of my brain mm. that uh that's mm-hmm. been lost just during my my absence of of, 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 of uh delving delving into the scriptures you know what i'm saying so you right know, right if, you, if right. you're not on it every day you lose it mm. absolutely but, and but, see i've been doing this i've been enlightened for 20 years now and guess what i've always been one of those type of brothers even when I was, I'm 48, so you know, I've I've always been one of those very inquisitive brothers. I I, I delved into other things, but nothing seemed to resonate. I even um, was a uh, 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 at one point in time I was a Muslim. You know, right? So, and that was because which one? Which one? I, Islam? I was I, mean, a Sun, I was no I, yeah, Sunni. Yeah, Sunni Muslim Sunni, at the time. Okay. Yeah, I took my shahada and everything. This mm. is like in '93. Oh wow, wow. And, yeah, and so what happened was. The, how I made the transition, and I did it off the strength of because I was angry. I was, you know, this this white dude had came to me one time. I was working. I was living in the south, and he came to me. I was on a um, on a job, and he was telling me about, um, you know, uh, oh, you should be doing this and living this way. He was with the girlfriend, and you know, I can't, I couldn't come back. If I'm the type of person if I don't know something, and somebody's coming at me with some 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 Bible stuff at that time, you know, I was like. You know, I couldn't really come back at him. I was just getting angry. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know what? That's some devil stuff anyway. I couldn't. You know what I mean? Let me. I'm. I'm gonna go into. Uh, um, I'm gonna go into. Uh, uh, take my shahada, become a Muslim. You know, and put all of this white. That that Christian stuff is uh, devil stuff anyway. White, white. You know. So I went in it. You know, when I, and, and and this is just a lesson for anybody who's listening, never do anything off of spite. And that's why I did that. And I mm. went off in, off emotions and I took my shahada. And don't get me wrong, look, when I did it, it taught me discipline and all that right there. But at the same time, it didn't resonate with me because this was, it wasn't something, it was something about it, uh, the Quran that just didn't resonate with me. You know what I'm saying? And um, so once I started to come and started, I, I, I said, you know what? I I, the transformation came when I was incarcerated and I came out, you know, briefly, it was like a year. And then I came out and I said, you know what, this thing is not resonating with me. I just want to know the truth. And once I said that to myself, something within me, or the spirit or whatever you want to call it. But for me, it was something that was like said, you know what, go study the scriptures again, the Bible. 
And what I did was I did that for six months straight. And what, what happened was this, I just started to, I was like, yo, this right here, I, you know, I've read it before, but I've never studied it. And it's a big difference between studying something and reading something. And when I studied it this time, it was like, I'm like, this is my people I'm studying. Mm. Like, this is my history. Like, this is who, wow. And I kept looking, getting up, looking in the mirror. I'm like, yo, you mean to tell me that this is, these are my people? Mm. Like, I'm, I'm a descendant of these people? Like, this, is, this sounds just like us. And when I started put saying that, I mean, I didn't, I, from that time on, this was 99, I never looked back, bro. Mm. I never looked back. And so, and um, I'm one to always question. I always tell, teach my children to always question, never stop questioning life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's what brought me to where I am now. So I always stayed on that path, no understanding. I went mm -hmm. into the military understanding that, you know, like this is, I mean, things started happening. I just can't really, you know, go into it, but it was, it was so powerful that I knew that this was, this was, I was on the right path. And wow. so... Um, I say that to say that, you know, um, all of this, like the way that brother was talking and, you know, I, I really, it resonated with me because mm. this is something that we as a people, if you, like I said, if you're here by way of slavery, then you are of the tribe, whether you believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? When I talk to my brothers out here, you know, look, I know who they are, mm -hmm. but they have to, they have to come into that, 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 that light of self. So I don't go out preaching to them, but. You know, I kind of subtly, because, you know, I kind of subtly try to give them little jewels here and there to kind of, you know, because they've been, you got to understand, these people have been, our people have been growing up thinking, believing in a lot. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, they've been believing, we've been believing in a lot. Several we've lives. Taught, mm. Yeah. We've been taught that, you know, um, we're niggas and we this and we that. You know, we are far from the truth. Now, the scriptures talks about there, yeah, you will be called the byword. You know what I'm saying? You will be called the byword. And the byword for us was nigger, is a nigger to this day. The mm -hmm. byword means something, um, a, a distasteful name. You know what I'm saying? So when you start to understand and it talks about how all these things are coming to existence right now, brother, like, you know, it's, it's just, to me, it's just so empowering. So I want to, be able to be, you know, uh, for all those brothers out there who, you know, um, questioning and, you know, and I just hope and pray that you guys just go back to studying the scriptures. And for me, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, you got a lot of brothers out here. Look, there's certain books that you can, I, I recommend, you know, the book of um, Enoch, the book of um, Yasher, because those are in, those are references in the so-called, you know, in the Bible, right? So they reference those books. And that's why I only mentioned those books because you know the book of yasha is a book that if you study chronicles it tells you about the rest or or also in um the book of joshua it tells you at the end he said now all the rest of the acts of joshua are not written in the book of yasha well it's spelled j-a-s-h-e-r but i pronounce it as yasha because that's the correct way to say it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so you know those are something that i feel that you know you brothers need to explore. I don't want to hold you up because I know you guys about to get off, but it's a pleasure being on the show. Oh, brother. that's and love, really man. Like thank you. Thank you. For, thank you for yeah. coming in. Yeah, yo, listen, it's my pleasure. All praise to the most high. All right. Take care of yourself, bro. Peace. Appreciate you. Thank Appreciate you. Thank you. Man, man, this show went somewhere I didn't expect it to go, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, but it was, it was, it was satisfying, though, man. Yeah, very satisfying. I, I, I it honestly opened up. A, a, a perspective that I never even considered. So I'm definitely going to uh, take that into account. Yeah. I always wondered why people um, think they need a pastor or a priest, Elijah Muhammad, or I'm not sure what they call them. What do they call them? Ministers. What do they Minister, call them? Yeah, ministers. ministers. Yeah. Ministers. Uh, to get God's word, you know, it's, it's, it's weird to me. We, 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 we need fellowship, you know, but again, uh, like the Bible says, human man want to dominate man to, 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 to his injury. So that, that power that we so, uh, crave for in the position mm -hmm. of separation and superiority, 
we want to take that position so bad to where we'll dominate our fellow human. Right. When, when really we just need fellowship. And in the and, word, though, and, we fellowship right. in the word, right. in the Bible or the Torah, exactly. or the Quran, not and encouragement to keep going through this struggle of life. This very unnatural life that we that we are in, because none of this wow. was in, was the intended purpose of the true God. We weren't supposed to be living like this, but by way of Adam sinning, we've been cast off into this degradation of sin and it just continues to you know worsen as time goes on got it makes a whole lot of sense makes a whole lot of sense well we've been fed tonight <laughs> yeah man and and it's it's just you know this jamal charles what's the word symbiotic you know it's it's uh he's innocent he didn't do not he did something wrong but it's not worthy of going to jail you get yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's that it's definitely not worthy of going to jail. So um it's wrong, but it's not criminal though. It's not criminal. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's wrong, but it's not criminal. Exactly. It's wrong and it's not criminal. So yeah. Exactly. True words spoken. Any last words, man, before I kick you out? <laughs> and I appreciate the time, man. I appreciate all the callers. I appreciate the audience for tuning in. You know, I was able to see some of the chat, you know, here and there, and um, you know, some positive feedback, man. Um you know, I'm glad we was able to uh, enlighten and, and share these things as brothers without uh, arguing with just open ears and uh, proper perception, you know, uh, uh, proper perception of it. And, you know, everything was taken in honestly and given out honestly. And, and it, it, it was good, you know, going forward as blacks and brothers. This is just a prelude of, of things that we need to carry on. You get what I'm saying? To, 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 to further enhance our unit and our bond with each other. Hey, you and I should do a video on this. Do you think we should be brothers or should we be black? Just out of curiosity. Brothers are brother is far stronger. Being a brother to me is far stronger than representing our commonality as a color. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely believe that. I, I definitely believe that. It's it's uh I was thinking, like, I have these thoughts how capitalism kind of uh, pigeonholes our mindsets and our uh, falsifies our goals, falsifies our mission statements. You know what I mean? And, and that's part of, and that's part of the, the, the that's part of capitalistic society. Uh, exactly. The, the, the color code. Yeah, I'm gonna call you. Uh, We're gonna do a video on that at some point. <laughs> before the yeah. end of the year <laughs> no, yeah, we, can. I, yeah, we got to because I, I think that's an interesting conversation especially now you know what i mean when uh you know it's everything is so intertwined and interlocked you know and and like we talked about like we were separated by groups you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's not even a divide anymore it's like you're a group a you're a group b you're a group blue you're a group red you're a group three you're a group seven you yeah. know yeah that's that that's the easiest way to keep people divided and to to uh essentially and ultimately conquering mm -hmm. by separating yeah. Facts. you know this sect that sect you know mm -hmm. strength is in numbers man it's, it's that that's right. that's that's card that's a cardinal rule mm -hmm. right all right, man. Love you, man. I appreciate you hanging out with us tonight, man. Thank Thank you. It was you a great show. Authority enjoyed it, man. Appreciate the invitation. I'll be looking forward to getting back on. Yeah, soon. you know it. You know it. You know yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate you, big homie. All right, Fred. Take All it right, easy, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, man. What a show, man. Give yourselves a round of applause. I never... I learned something tonight, man. I learned something tonight. For sure I did. You know what I mean? Something I'm going to consider. And... Yeah, man, it's uh, I'm going to interview. Uh, uh, Mr. Muhammad tomorrow. <laughs> Tam tomorrow. I'm going to interview Tam tomorrow. So I expect that coming. I'm 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 excited about his uh, spiritual freedoms. You know, I'm very excited to hear him talk about him just being free spiritually. You know, that's that's pretty damn impressive. You know what I mean? 
you missed the show. Oh man, you got to go to the beginning. But I, but the first half was boxing. Jamal Chargo, I believe he was set up by the restaurant and the waitress. And and like I said, and like uh, L said it perfectly. What he did was wrong. It just what it wasn't criminal though. You know, it it wasn't criminal. You know, it it wasn't worthy of a mugshot. It was worthy of someone stepping in and be like, "What's the bill?" All right, here. We'll take care of it. I apologize for him. You know what I mean? You know, his great grandma's in the hospital. You know, he's going through something. But here's the bill. Was it 500? Here, take 750. You know, we getting out of here. We apologize for the inconvenience. And uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs> we'll give you a great Yelp review. How about that? You know, so, man, they could have fixed that so many different ways. Hey, how about y'all do, a, you know, Jamal, uh, promote your business or something, you know, like, but I know the tempers are flaring and, and men are talking, you know, I, I, I understand that thoroughly, but it wasn't worthy of a, I, it wasn't worthy of a mugshot. It was not worthy of a mugshot. I, I, I agree, but you know, you also got to take into account, um, they have to be accountable now to Jamal and Jamel about how, um, they can't be um, like that in every situation. You know, like, as they say, turned up jet fuel. You know, you, you got to use your decorum. You got to, you got to assess, you know, and use appropriate energy. Hopefully they learn that from this, you know, because I don't want to see them in jail. I want them in the ring fighting, creating legacy and money and, you know, building stuff for their family. They both have beautiful kids and beautiful families. And, you know, I genuinely want that for them. So anyway, we're getting out of here, man. Appreciate y'all, man. And uh, what a show, man. I feel like I, I feel full. Like, man, I feel like I, I feel like I, I need to go read. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Yeah. I, it really wasn't just, yeah, It I, I think it could have been settled at the restaurant, but the restaurant going to take advantage of the opportunity, you know? <laughs> man, it, it definitely could have got handled, man. You know, that's, that's the common response, man. Not common, but, you know. They they gonna take advantage of the situation, man. They gonna take advantage of the situation, and you know it. You know Jamal is wealthy. He's in his own. Well, he's in San Antonio. I I just saw read or something like that. They gonna take advantage of the situation. Jamal gonna be all right, man. They'll take care of it. It'll be water under the bridge. They'll announce his fight. He he has a fight coming up probably in April. <laughs> when did he fight? June. So he's probably gonna fight in March or April. You know, what I mean that that ten month. They fight in every ten months. You know, so anyways, man, I love y'all, man. Can somebody say play the song, please, so we can get out of here? What a show, man. What a show. I feel full. I feel I learned a lot, man. Free promotion. Def, exactly. Free promotion for the restaurant. People going to come in from the community just to support. You know, you're going to, you know, you gonna get the people who don't like Jamal. And, you know, for whatever reason is color, race, creed, financial situation, you know. You just can't respond that way. Play the song, Fred. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate y'all coming. Out. What a what a show we had tonight. What is? And I think DB could have added to this. I really think DB would have been a great asset to this show. You know, I know he's a Nation of Islam member, but I just think and he's very mature about it. So I think he would have been a great asset to this show. It's a bad thing he wasn't here tonight. You know, I, I think he would have been great. Mm. And I'm coming all so fast. No, I got lonely. Sometimes you see, I know, I know we could make it. Even when I'm off feet, I still land on my feet. And nothing can shake me. Cause I know my true love. I This is where I am destined to be. Not ready to give up. Never, 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 never
Why, y'all? Because the devil is a lie. Hey, people Hernandez, I'm telling you the truth. Hey, people Hernandez, it's all in what you do. Hey, people Hernandez, sing it together. Hey, 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 hey. Man, what a show tonight, man. Man, thank you guys. I appreciate all y'all because I know if we would have had one less person in here, the show wouldn't have went in that, in that direction. So I, I'm, I'm grateful and thankful that y'all that y'all came through tonight. Maybe I saw something in the chat that sparked the question or I don't know, but thank you guys for coming in here. It means a lot. Man, it's the moment of truth. No backing down. What a show, man. Damn. I enjoyed, I enjoyed this show. Gotta get, yo, yo, it's my, it's my, Rob G. You turn to be the greatest, yeah. Bobbing and weaving and changing up like a season indigenous to the grind. Do it for all my people. Jabbing the competition, rapping for this and hope she fighting for recognition. I'm fighting just to promote equality where we lack. It's all on our road. I'm confident we'll make it. So you gotta give back, give love. Last time, y'all, sing this shit with some love. Life's a play with no rehearsal. They'll come for your bro. Take it personal. Why, y'all? Because the devil is a lie. Hey, I'm telling you the truth. Hey, it's all in what you do. Hey, you gotta do. Hey, hey, love y'all, man. Love y'all, man. I, I, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a check my character, man. I'm about to elevate my character, man. I, I learned a lot from tonight, man. Love y'all, man. Get better every day. Every day, every day. Get better. Love y'all, man. We out of here. Mayana, Mayana, Mayana. 